Welcome to Lahore, Pakistan. This vibrant city is the food capital of Pakistan, and it's easy to see why. There are food vendors everywhere, so you really need to pace yourself. But when they're making dishes like chana, fresh naan, takatak, rooster karai, and fruit galgapa, just do what I do and eat until you pop. We're exploring the food and culture of this amazing city right now. So come with me to one of the best food cities on the planet. Lahore, 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 Lahore. Let's go to Lahore, Pakistan. Good evening, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Lahore, Pakistan, in partnership with my friends at Manaki. Today, I'm going to take you to see one of the most important sites in Lahore, Jahangir Tomb. That was the fourth Mughal emperor. We're going to explore the grounds, and from here, we're going to the Royal Mosque to get an incredible view of the mosque and have some dinner. You guys excited? Let's go, my friends. Manaki, what are we doing? Yeah, now we are exploring Jahangir Tomb. <laughs> Let's visit it. We are here uh, at Jahangir Tomb. Uh, initially, this was constructed as a caravan sarai for the caravans who came here and stay there, and later on they move to other areas. So you can notice uh, there are many rooms for the guests. And uh, later on, when Jahangir was died, he was buried here, and this was declared at ja as a Jahangir tomb. If you guys don't understand what a caravan sarai is, it's basically a hotel for people, usually on the Silk Road. So I saw a bunch in, in Uzbekistan. You know, they pass through, they go to sleep, they eat, and they keep going. Yeah. And this is all the rooms. So a few hundred rooms here, and there's four different gardens. So we're gonna pass through. This is not even a tomb. The tomb is like deeper inside. And this is the main gate to the tomb. Very beautiful. You know, all the Mughal tombs, very, very similar in terms of style. And it also is like, just like the Taj Mahal, when you enter the Taj, they have a gate very similar the to this. Very similar. I love the yeah. colors. It just shows that they're like in a, in a really dry area, right? Before we cross into the tomb, we're gonna see one of these caravanserai rooms. This was a hotel room. Open air just like this. Tiny. I mean, it's a studio space, right? Easy, like, a, I'd say like 100 square feet. So it's just a bed. You know, you have your luggage, and that's it. I like it though. Beautiful. This whole thing is gorgeous. It's 1637, right? The whole thing? 1637. Yeah, whole, right In 1980, it's inscribed a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 1980 became UNESCO. Every Mughal architecture had uh, some water channels to provide uh, fountains and some streams in the architecture. So this is this was the fountains they used to collect the water, and from this pond, uh, water flown on the all four directions. So this was a little waterfall, and that uh, flow the water to the Tom direction, and you can see the four directions for the water. The tomb is right in front of us, and the best thing it reminds me of is the Baby Taj. So if you ever go to Agra, India, they have a second Taj Mahal, and that's the Baby Taj. Very, very similar. This was way bigger though. Huge structure. We can go in there, right, and go on yeah, top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. So the red sandstone was uh, imported uh, from the Rajasthan at that era, and uh, the marble was used as an inlay in the red sandstone. So sandstone, get the marble, you have flowers, all these beautiful intricate lines. Really incredible. So everywhere you see there's detail. Over here, door, you have, so that's not a minaret, it's like, what would you call that? Like just towers, there's like four towers in the, on the sides? Oh, it is minaret. It's minaret. It is minaret. Yes. Obviously, he was an emperor. Look at the entrance. Incredible. Beautiful. Love the colors. Beautiful flowers. And right there's a tomb. Right there. They have embroidered the other colors marble in white marble. They cut uh, red and the uh, greenish marble into the small pieces and engraved these marble inside the white marble. It's so grand. The white marble, all the different layers of the tomb on top and bottom. Like every Mughal tomb, the actual tomb, or the casket you would say, has in Arabic, Allah, right? So it says Allah, the whole thing is just saying God, God, God. And what does it say on top? Quranic verses. Just Quran verses, okay, awesome. The most impressive thing here is really how they cut into the marble and then added the different colors, right? Because they actually did it with no computers, nothing, they just 
They did it with time, right? Yeah. Time and a lot of money. Wow, you could really feel it with this. So I think the next thing to do is to go to the top, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. The staff here is so friendly. They close the door, but they're opening it up for us. Wow. Look at this. Incredible rooftop. It's still four minarets. And you have an extra little platform, a little higher than this. And from here, you get the beautiful views. Look at this, the garden. Yeah, it's the garden. Wow. Definitely worth coming up here. Incredible. And this is a free attraction, right? Yeah. No cost to get in here? Uh, 500. 500? For okay, that's not so bad. So 500 is like three US dollars. It's a great deal. Come on, man. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> if you don't come to Lahore, you weren't born. Mm, right? That's what yes. you said? That's what you said? <laughs> Last thing to do up here is climb one of the minarets to get a bird's eye view. Let's go up. And this is it. The view from the top of one of the minarets. Incredible. I mean, you see the whole entire grounds, you know, above the main tomb. You see all the gardens, so there's four gardens. You see the four minarets, obviously, and then you see the, I guess, the small community around the tomb, right? And a lot of people here, it's relaxing. It's really cool right now. Obviously, the best time to come here is around, this time, I'd say like 4.30, 5, just to get, you know, the sunset. It's breezier, it's not too hot. Ah, we are going to food street, Kaha. Let's go. Let's go. Shukriya. Okay. Shukriya. Take care, guys. Take care. I want to get there before sunset so we can see yeah. a view of the mosque, the right? Mosque. The royal mosque. We're actually going to explore it deeper, like more in depth tomorrow. But right now, obviously, we're going to get a view of it, see the sunset, and then go eat. Food Street? Food Street. Tawa Chicken. Tawa wow. Chicken. That's what we're going for. Tawa Chicken. There's a lot of food there, but Tawa Chicken is what we're aiming for. The river Ravi is the main gate of the Lahore and uh, this has a very uh, importance in the history of Lahore and the main Lah Lahore fort was constructed uh, on the border of the river edge. Uh, people used to uh, come uh, on board uh, at that time, people coming from the Islamabad side. So where the tomb is, that's Shadara town. Officially, it was a town 20 years ago. Now Lahore has expanded so much that that's part of Lahore. It's not the town anymore. It's all Lahore, yeah. everything here. It's that big a city, huh? Like 10 plus million now? And it keeps growing and growing. Yeah, People from growing. Punjab from just keep coming in. We arrived here at the food street, right next to the biggest mosque in Lahore. Massive mosque, right when you pass by it, I mean, you see the gates. It's just gigantic. So beautiful and yeah, we made it here, right? So the food street, unfortunately, we can't go up to the building where we can get a view of the mosque because they don't allow cameras inside, only mobiles, just so you guys know. And we're gonna eat some chicken tawa. Is that here? No, no. It's over here, it's over here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like it. It's very <laughs> spicy. Very spicy. Yeah, very spicy. I love this street. So many people, lots of commotion. So many vendors. This one behind us has a huge vat of malai. It's like a four by four, big, milky, delicious vat. And he has some biscuits as well. And over here we have some barbecue, right? Barbecue flame, more food. It's a food street. It's all you can find here is food. Oh, this is incredible. And here we are at the Chicken Tawa place. Um, unfortunately, they aren't open yet. It's only 6.10. They said in the next half hour, once a lot of clients come in, the activity starts, right? We'll see them, you know, frying up the chicken. So for now, we're gonna just walk around and see if we can find something else to eat. I'm really hungry, so I need at least a snack. The guy at the very end looks like he has something really yummy. Let's see what he has. Dal chawal. This is another dal stew. So it is yellow dal with chicken, and then they add it on top of rice. On the side, they put some cabbage salad. It reminds me of a halim, but the difference is halim is like three to four different lentils, right? Let's do this. Hungry. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Not too spicy. A little bit spicy though. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Black pepper, man. A lot of black pepper here. Mmm. I mean, I love dog. Lentils all day. Love it mixed with the chicken. Nice and pasty as well. And then you mix it with the rice, right? Mm -hmm. And you get some of this. Mm. No salad. It has a little bit of a, I don't know if that's right though, or what it is. Definitely yogurt based, right? Wow. 
people in Punjab have at home, right? So it's like more of a homemade dish, right? Another winner for me. Mm. Mm. So tasty. Simple, easy, delicious. This is chana palau. So they put some uh, white chickpeas, chickpeas in the rice. So it's a white chickpea pulao. Can't wait. Oh, this has spices. This yes, is a different type of lao. Yeah, a spicy one. Mm -hmm. But the dal has black pepper. This one is proper. Uh, proper amazing. It, it, it reminds me of more biryani exactly. because of the spices. Exactly. Oh man, these rice dishes. Take another one. Oh. Hey. That kind of biryani is so good. <laughs> nice and spicy. Chickpeas, huh? So if you're a vegetarian, this is good, right? Because there's no... And it wasn't cooked in anything that was, you know, meat. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. What else? Ah. A little spice. That's why Mardan, Islamabad. There, almost no spice. More mild food. This, blow your mind. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Chick people out. You have to try it. Wow. I'm hot. It's very spicy. It's very spicy. The good thing is that he has the right to so it cools it down a little bit. But it's damn good. What is this? Another dish from a vendor back here somewhere. It is <laughs> peas pulao. Wow, and it's scorching. So what else does it have? What is this? Potato? Potatoes, big chunks. Mm. Nice and moist. Oh, it's spicy. So different. They're all so different. All the items are different. It has different masalas. Mm -hmm. And oh. the chickpea has more masalas. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's spicier. That's more spicy because that has the biryani element. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Beautiful. Wow. I'm going to get I'm gonna get a piece of uh, potato right here. Now I'm hot. <laughs> I am blown away. Yeah. I am blown away. So many rice dishes. So many. There's a few other biryani spots. So we gotta slow down because I wanna try those too. And what I love about this is there's so many diverse dishes just on the street. You know, I didn't try any of these anywhere else in the country. This is my last spot. You know, I've been to one, two, three, four, five different cities. Five, six cities. None of this I've tried. First time. <laughs> <laughs> that potato's on fire, right? All right, one last bite. Let's go find some more food. I'm starving. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you. Thank you so much. He didn't charge you for the three dishes. You're too kind. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, bro. Thank you, thank you. Pakistan! Zindabad! Zindabad! Pakistan, Zindabad! If you want some fried chicken, go to the vendor right next door. He has fried chicken wings fried chicken drumsticks. He also has some patties, some kebabs, but a lot of fried stuff, right? I'm good with that. I'm gonna go going for some other stuff. This is Pakistan. Jack number non beef non is chicken branch collection is the wife pass in the North Stack collection. My name is Buddha Gang and Steven Robert. Yes. Yeah. In his door. These guys don't stop making the nons. I mean, it's non stop. It's like a hundred in a row. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah. Okay, I am green. I am green. <laughs> He's so funny. Let's find some food. Everybody's so nice. So friendly. Tandoor, tandoor, tandoor. Tandoor, yeah. All tang two guys are amazing. Oh my god, this is tandoor. Lime, kulcha, sakush, chil go, shabu, fry. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is Murga, this is Chane or Pariani. This is Pariani. Chane. 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 This is organic chicken soup. Wow, looks incredible. Yeah, small. Everything's very small here. Because obviously the broiler one is a lot bigger, right? Farm. Shukriya. 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 Take care, everybody. Take care, guys. Can I get one? Is that okay? Is it hot? No, it's perfect. It's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so juicy. Nice, minced meat. 
with a bunch of different herbs in here. We got some onion, a one biter. Oh, I would have like 10 of those. They're that good. We made it to the end of the street, so we're gonna turn around and go straight back to the chicken place. Still got some room for some chicken, for yeah. sure. Chicken and maybe some biryani, right? They are uh, cooking chicken tawapi uh, with some specific uh, yogurt masala jars and green chilies jars. With the amount of green chilies will burn your mouth off. Like, it is hot. Just being here, oh, chilies, but I love chilies. I'm a big chili guy. When I go to Thailand, a million chilies. India, give me chilies everywhere. Chili, chili, chili. I want some. Let's go. What are we doing here? Sauce. Sauce? Okay. Ah. Oh, that looks good. That looks so good. Do it. Yala, yala. Oh, yala, yala. Oh, nice and creamy. Creamy, chili. And then what's that? Ghee? Ghee all day. Ghee all day. <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait. This looks so good. The smell is unbelievable. Being in here with this chef, so nice. Thank you, my man. All right, let's eat. This dish definitely looks very, very scary because of the chilies, but in terms of level of spice, I say it's like a five or a six. Not like the craziest where you're like, <laughs> here we go, guys. So, because of COVID, there's no sitting inside. Right now, you can only do takeaway. So, fortunately for us, he's letting us eat right here in front of him. I'm excited. I cannot wait. This looks so good. I'm gonna have a little chili this part. Not so hot. More like a, like a nice green pepper with a little tank. I'm gonna grab it, just grab. Little piece, just go in and grab. Yeah, yeah, like that. Grab some chicken, chili. Oh, so get some more chilies. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. This is the most unique chicken I ever had. <laughs> well, it's like creamy, it's spicy, it's grilled. It's juicy, juicy, so juicy. The guy on the right grills it, he puts it here, he lines them up. As soon as all the things are ready, he throws it in when orders come. He adds ghee, he has that like, it's like a curry with yogurt base. You have a special recipe of the sauce. Yeah, the sauce is ridiculous and I love it because it's not too drenched in ghee, but the chili amount is awesome. Go in here and pull. Incredible. Oh, if you want, grab a piece, the drumstick, and the breast. Oh man, love it. The most unique grilled chicken ever. Spicy, man. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, you need this. Oh, man, you gonna eat with me or what? So just go in, get the spatty, break up that flesh. He breaks all the flesh as well. He chops it up a little bit. But obviously you have to get in here and we break. Grab like that. Pull it off. Ooh, still super hot. Just came off the grill. Spice is the best. Mm -hmm. That's not a crazy, crazy spice. Just right. I'll rank this as one of the top three chickens I've ever had in my life. Ever. So grab all that. Oh, you can taste that black pepper, that black gold. Zabber dust. Zabber dust. Zabber dust. And then we have right that, right? So if it's too spicy for you, grab this. Drink up. Oh, yeah. Nice, creamy. Right up. Yeah, actually, feel like it has cheese. It's so crumbly. That is dinner, my friends. We explored the tomb of the fourth Mughal emperor. We had an incredible time there. Saw somewhat of a sunset. Best time to go there is around 4:30. Once you're done there, come over here. Only a 20-minute drive. 
You see the biggest mosque, the Royal Mosque, right there. If you have time for that, go there for sunset. And that comes straight here to this street. What's the name of the street? Texali Gate Bazaar. Texali Gate Bazaar. So many vendors. Obviously, this is the one you have to come for. Hey, Arif Chirkhara, I'm 40 years old. The client is not giving us a hamara jo famous hai ye tawa piece hai hamare paas bade durud dur daraz se client aate hain aur ye tawa piece ek samajh kar le lahor shehar ki ek favorite dish hai you can also try a few of the other pulao's we tried you can try the patties uh, i'm sure you get some chai some juices i mean so many things to try here and yeah my friends that is our tour here in amazing lahore pakistan in parchu manaki hit all the video thumbs up comment below subscribe to more awesome travel content I'm gonna finish this delicious chicken. Man, look at that amount of energy, man. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. Today I'm so pumped because I'm trying pie, a traditional breakfast here in Lahore. It's basically a stew with goat feet. It looks absolutely amazing. And then after we try it, we're going to go explore some of the main sites of the city including the Lahore Fort and the Royal Mosque. Mask on, let's go inside. And this is the pie. Huge vats of pie. So what is it? Basically, it's a stew with goat feet. Just lots of goat feet. I mean, just huge rows of it. Easily 200 right here. And the way it works is you come in, you get in line, you place your order. And then these vendors get either a plate, well, basically now because of COVID, there's no eating inside, but you can eat outside on the street, or you get to get to go. So they have a plate or a bag, they fill it up with a few feet, and they add the stew. And that's basically it. I mean, it's a crazy amount of commotion here. I love it though. This is the best thing to try. You know, we've been waiting the whole trip to eat it here in Lahore. Look at that. Look at all those go feet. Crazy. Amazing. And this gentleman also just broke up the head of the skull of the goat and extracted the brains. I cannot wait. This is gonna be delicious. Mm, looks so juicy. Adil! So we got the pie there? Yeah, we have pie and we have a brain. No you know way. breakfast. Pie, the brains, and we have some delicious naan. It's great. Incredible. This is the way. Yes. Let's go. We have uh, our pie with us. Look at that. Wow. So show me how we do it. Let's go in. Yes, we have to use our naan. Always naan. Get enough, right? Yes. Then what do you do? Then we have to pick our pie and grab some it's basically a lot of fat, right? Yeah. Mmm. 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 Nice. Oh man, so juicy. Lots of jelly here. Yeah. Just pull it out, right? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, this is delicious. You know, I'm not a huge feet person. Like, I, don't, I don't like feet that much, but this is incredible. Exactly. Mm. So straight jelly. Exactly. It's just, just jelly. Just the jelly. Wow. So you just gotta get in here, you know, rip up as much as possible. Obviously, be careful with the bones. There are a lot of bones. Yeah, very little, little bones. You have to be careful. Mmm. I love the gravy. Nice and oily, also very light. So you're gonna get in here, grab that, right? Just like that. Look at that. I personally love fat, so I love this dish. Mm. I've eaten a lot of pig feet. <laughs> pig feet, it's not my favorite just because it's so hard to get through, but this one, yeah. you get a lot. Wow, and it's not too spicy. Not too spicy at all. Next up, you gotta try the brain, right? Yeah. Oh wow, this guy's just putting in more of the gravy here. Yes. So get in here. Oh, that's that's brains, huh? That's definitely brains. <laughs> it's like overflowing our dish here. <laughs> okay, look at that. Whoa. Good, huh? Cool. Perfect. Lassi? Why not? 
Oh, the brains is way better. Yeah, the brains is like. I I'd rather the brains over the feet. The brains is just so like. It's like pure butter and jelly. It's, it, that's it's the, very creamy. It's creamy and it's also yeah. a little spongy. Spongy, yeah. Spongy. Oh. oh my god. It's really tasty. It's too tasty. You have to be into organs if you want to eat this dish. If not... <laughs> that was heaven. Heaven. My favorite is the brain. You? Uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> Look at this. The big, big chunk. And I love how we're eating this on the street. Literally, this traffic jam behind us. <laughs> Good. This is the best dish in Pakistan. This is definitely on the exotic side. Mm. Wow. This meal's not complete without some lassi. It's a thick Punjabi lassi. Mm. Super thick. Oh, I love this one. Very nice. Creamy. Oh, man. Incredible. Great way to flush all that, down all that brain, right? Hey, Shukriya. And now you guys know, when you're in Lahore, come out to have some breakfast here on Temple Road at Arneef CD Pie, which means head and feet of the goat. It is absolutely mouthwatering. An exotic dish here in Pakistan. Highly recommend it. Obviously, pair it with some of that naan. Look at that. The guys don't stop going with the tandoor, like three guys all day long. And then after you eat all that, have some lassi. And yeah, 8 a.m. is the best time. That's when you get this rush, right? You have to be here for the rush. The rush is the best part. Okay, let's go explore. Let's go explore the Lahore Fort. It's starting to rain. Hopefully it goes away. Because it's still raining for another hour, we're gonna take a quick stop and have some more breakfast. We're gonna have some Harba Puri. You know, this is the most traditional breakfast in all of Pakistan. I've eaten it everywhere. Obviously, my first morning here in Lahore. I'm gonna try it right here at this point. What's up guys? Assalamu alaikum. They have a three kind of halwa. The plain halwa and another is khoya wala halwa. And third one is zafrani halwa. Let's try the two I haven't tried. I usually try the plain one. I want to try the other ones. This one in front of us is the saffron halwa with a lot of dried fruits and nuts. This looks incredible. Exactly. I want this one. Yes. This is the best. This is the best. Thanks, guys. And here we have something completely different I haven't seen before in Pakistan. This is mutton kachori and chicken kachori. Extremely different, right? So it's, it's like a thick, flaky, whoo, really hot. Uh, like, I wouldn't call it a biscuit, but it's a, like a more of a thicker pie, right? Thicker pie. One of them has mutton, which is goat. The other one has chicken. So we're going to try this as well. Can't wait. Crazy situation here because it's raining so bad. We can't eat on the car. Obviously, because of COVID, we can't eat here because no indoor dining. So we're gonna have to go under that overpass right there. Have to go under it and eat standing up. Uh, hopefully, this works. Uh, it's pretty intense, guys. Uh, COVID. COVID. We made it work. We made it work. We found a concrete brick. <laughs> That's our table. So we have here chana, chickpeas, right? There's three different halvas. We have the puri and then that's the kachori. So I think I want to start with the kachori first. It's a mutton kachori. Mutton kachori, oh, it's yeah. still so hot. So hot, oh, it's like, it's, a, it's basically a pie. Exactly. Oh, wow. mint mutton. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the flakiness. Next to crispy. So listening to this, it's like a, Really incredible in banana, including in banana, it's like crispy like this. So good. Wow. Wow. Mm. And these puris are extremely crispy. They're not as soft, they're not as doughy. Straight crisp. So just go in here and get one of these, right? I like these, the, the different ones. Oh my God, there's heaven right here. Mm. We have this almonds. Koya halwa, this is safran halwa. That's safran? 
I'm gonna try this one next. But this one, I like, I like how, <coughs> sorry, how nutty it is. Also, the fruits, right? The dried fruits, crispy, oily. That's the best one. That soft brown taste. So sweet, awesome, it's awesome, yeah. Never done, never done. So get some of this right, and also go into the chickpeas. To be honest, I'm just mesmerized with where we are. <laughs> I'm a nutty guy, man. Good. That was good. Great stuff. We can eat, huh? Unfortunately for the rain, it just keeps coming down, man. But I like this one the most. Uh, I like the saffron the most, but this one, it's different because it's three different ones, right? In front of breakfast. Halva puri is like the staple breakfast. Everywhere. Always sweet Every and savory. Every, Every day. day. You know I'm the puri king, right? I'm the king of puris. Halva is delicious. It's so sweet. It's crumbly. Mm. I'll tell you, we were really nervous about where to put the, the tray. But you know what? When you believe, God provides. <laughs> Straight up, man. <laughs> I was so nervous. Perfect. After a 15 minute drive, we arrived here to Lahore Fort, a 16th century fort built by a Mughal emperor. All right, let's go inside. What do we have behind us? The picture wall. Picture wall is the largest wall in the world as well. So this construction of this wall was started by the fourth Mughal emperor, Jangir, but was completed by his son Shah Jahan. So length is a 450 meter, this picture wall, height is a 17 meter, where the Mughal game are showing in this picture, bull fighting, camel fighting, elephant fighting, horse fighting, you can see that. Even K, you can see the pigeons' halls. It's, this gate is called Shah Burj. It was built by 5th great Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in 1632. That gate was used for the royalty. How was a great time, how would have been beautiful view. 400 years back, when Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan sitting on the elephants and passed this gate and left side there is, there is an elephant steps and climbed that step and went to the mirror palace. How was a great time. In the arrival of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, slave girls stood in the arches and throwing the rose petals on the arrival of Emperor Shah Jahan. I want to show you. You can see the smaller gate as well for the point of the security reason. Anybody could not enter directly. They need a bow for identification. After identification, they were allowed to, they can come inside. These are the elephant steps. So there's 58, right? 58 steps. Incredible, huge. So look, imagine, so the elephant was step. Incredible. I love it. Yeah. Massive. And then right there, obviously that's where the slave girls basically uh, say hi and to the emperor as he came in and threw rose petals. For destroyed in the Sikh war. When they had a Sikh war, after the death of Sikh emperor, he had a three son. Khada Singh, Sheer Singh, Dalip Singh. Sikh emperor died. Khada Singh also died, sir. Anderson. And his wife fought with the Sheer Singh. They did fight each other 10 years. In the Sikh war, the many part of the royal fort were destroyed. The Bad Shahi Mosque, the royal mosque was also destroyed in the Sikh war. If you guys don't know about the Mughal Empire, it was a massive dynasty, uh, over 350 years conquering all this area, which is between Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and also like Uzbekistan, so Central Asia. Yes. It dominated this whole area. Uh, that's why when you visit you know, Jaipur, when you visit places in Uzbekistan, Similar type of architecture, right? Always the red stone in this area, yes. right? And the first Mughal emperor was actually born in Uzbekistan. His son was born in Kabul, yes. right? And then they kept, you know, the lineage coming all around because they kept moving, right? So it was always between uh, Lahore and Delhi is what their capitals were, right? They would move, just depending on the time of year, right? Actually, the Delhi was the first Mughal dynasty of the Mughal, uh, Mughal Empire, but the later they shifted in Lahore. Okay. Akbar the Great, Akbar the Great made the city Mughal dynasty, and Akbar the Great also built uh, of the city 12 gate and 9 meter high wall. After Akbar Jangir, Jangir was born in uh, <coughs> Fatehpur Sikri. Okay. Fatehpur Sikri, then he was thrown in a. Uh, yeah, that's right Agra. outside of Agra. That's right outside of Agra. Agra. After Jangir, Shah Jan. Shah Jan was born in Lahore, right. and then he was also thrown in Agra. But he made 
Mughal dynasty Delhi because he loved Delhi, but he also loved Lahore. <laughs> this guy knows his history, man. Awesome. And in terms of what it reminds me of the most, uh, some of the forts in Jaipur, right? In terms of color, right? Yeah, and that's structure. Sandstone. Yeah, sandstone. And where else can we see? Where are we going? The most beautiful place inside this Lahore fort, the whole palace, it is decorated with a mirror. The Down Singles musician also performed in that the middle place. Back in 1632, Shah Jahan, emperor of the Mughal world, his wife said, hey, build me something that no one can build, no man can build. He said, okay, what do you mean? She's like, show me the stars. So he decided, okay, let, the only way to show you the stars is basically to make mirrors or put mirrors in this palace. So he built this palace, the mirror palace, with glass from Syria, as you can see. The courtyard, then this is the rooms of the palace. Incredible, look at the glass. All the top is glass, it's all mirror. So if you let a candle, it'll reflect through everywhere. And obviously at night with the stars, you can see the stars in the mirrors. Look at this. Wow. 1632. Almost 400 years old. It's the time of Kuntak and Chacha. How they had a great time here. They sit here. That was the river Ravi. They had a beautiful view of the river Ravi and they eating. <laughs> Imagine with this view, looking over the river. Before the river was there, obviously, the fort was built next to the water to have a moat. Look at this. Incredible paintings. You got peacocks, flowers. I mean, this is incredible. Over 400 years old. All in perfect condition. This was never restored, right? Never restored. This is, this is original. Wow. And there's also mirrors up there too. Like glass. Yeah. Even if you look at the ceiling, you can see the iron hooks. The iron hooks. The candles hanging with it. It is. It was also illuminated with the candles and were look like a stars. And that's it for the four. We saw the mirror palace, the main gate. There's a few other things to see here, but the under renovation right now, right? Yes. So we're we going next. We're going to next the Bath Sri Mosque, the King Mosque, the Royal Mosque. The Royal Mosque. Yes. It's the sixth number biggest mosque in the Pakistan in the world as well. In the world. Yes. Okay, and it's right here. It's literally like a two-minute walk right that way. Yes. It is called the Hazuri Bag, Excellency Garden of the Sick People. So back of you, you can see the garden and you can see the white marble building. That building is called Baradari. Baradari means 12 arches place. It was built by Sikh Emperor in 1818 when he snatched Kohinoor Diamond. And what's that? Diamond, the Badshay Mosque, the entrance of the Badshay Mosque. So it was built by 6th Great Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb Alamgir. That was completed three and a half years. About 100,000 people can offer prayer in one time in this mosque. The red sandstone was brought from Indian city Jaipur by elephant 400 years back. The white marble, it's covered the dome that was brought from Makrana of Indian dynasty. We see, go there. Like every mosque, I take off your shoes first. And this is the Royal Mosque, sixth largest mosque in the world. Look at this courtyard. Over 100,000 people can come here and pray. It is massive. I love it. The colors, I've never seen a mosque like this. All red sandstone, right? Yeah, that's sandstone. And, and the floor. Everything. Yes, everything. Yeah. Everything. And so you have four minarets, right? Yes. And you have three domes and then four minarets on, on there. So you look at the minaret, these are high, the 54 meter high minarets. These are the little bit tilt. If earthquake comes, they fell outside, not inside. That way, those who are offering prayer, they would not damage by that. So David, we are here at Minare, Pakistan, where the Pakistan resolution was passed at 23rd March 1940. So we are today, 23rd March, we are here to celebrate Pakistan Day. So today is March 23rd, 2021, 81 years later. Yes, look at this, beautiful. So it's a minaret, right? Pakistan Minar, gorgeous. It's barbed wire all around, so you can actually enter. We can get some great views from outside. Come here during sunset. We were here the other day, but it was raining, so unfortunately we couldn't see it then, but we're seeing it now. Incredible. So this is where the nation started, right here with the resolution. And that's it guys, we had an incredible morning here in Lahore. We had a traditional breakfast pie. Oh man, so good. It was goat brains, 
go <laughs> go feet. I mean, super delicious, mixed with some naan and some lassi. And then after that, we went and we had some halva puri, three different types of halvas. We also had a kachori. It was like a muddy kachori. Oh, so good. We ended on the side of the road because it's raining today. It's a really gloomy day, unfortunately for us, but it's all good. We saw the fort, which is incredible. We saw the sixth largest mosque in the world. Look at this place. So beautiful. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Lahore, Pakistan. Take care. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from rainy Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. Today I'm taking you to do two amazing things. We're gonna eat lunch here at Five Star Naan Shop. They're famous for a lot of different naans. They have stuffed naans, but they also have a beef naan, which basically they mix the minced beef with the dough, then they put it in the tandoor, and it's gonna be amazing. From here, we're gonna drive 30 minutes to the border between India and Pakistan, the Wagga border, to see the flag ceremony. That happens every single day at 5 p.m. You have to attend it if you're here. I mean, I already went to the Indian side. I can't wait to see it from this angle. Are you guys ready? Let's go inside, let's eat. Okay guys, we're in the back where they're making all the naans. This is incredible, they have one, two, two huge tandoors. It's a conveyor belt. They have about 25 men here just going non-stop. The guys in the end, they're stuffing the naans. They're mixing them, right? Over here, they're flattening them, making shapes. Then they put them in. They let them sit there for like, what, two or three minutes? They pull them out and that's it. I cannot wait. I'm eating everything. Let's try all of them. All of them. Why not? This is incredible. Wow, so hot. Look at that. There's like 25 naans inside the tandoor. Super hot. Like I said before, it's like eight different styles of naans, right? And the way you know the difference is the way they shape them and what they do. Sometimes they use a little machine. You know, they go da 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 Sometimes they use their hands. Sometimes it looks different, right? This one, it looks like, like a whole wheat. The other one looks like pure, just white wheat. Some of them, you can see all the vegetables, right? And it's a non-stop conveyor belt, right? So at the very end, you have the flour, the dough, they're rolling it, it moves over, these guys flatten it, they shape it, they design it, the way that has to make it for each one. And then, you guys over here, the guy puts it on the pillow, puts it in tandoor, two minutes, pulls out. I'm so excited. My man, shukriya, shukriya. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Shukriya, shukriya. All right, let's go. Let's eat. They also add ghee at the very end. Lots of ghee. The best. Hey, David, we have a bunch of uh, variety of naan. We have a uh, beef naan, one cheese naan, one chicken naan, one potato naan, and one gram flour naan. Okay, and we also have a bunch of raita, and this raita is actually a little different, right? Another unique raita. Always very herby. This one is greener. Oh, it's gonna be so tasty. <laughs> and this is our nonce. Amazing. This one, you can tell, is the beef one. That one, I don't know where it is, but this is brown flour. I mean, this was incredible. Look at that the spice. Can we try the first one? That's that's good. So get in. Get a piece and you just get some of the right, all right? That's it. Yeah. That is so good. It, it, it tastes almost like a beef pizza with egg. Like, like similar, right? Mm. Not spicy. Crispy. Perfect. It's, it's more crispier. Mm -hmm. Not that much spicy, but more crispier. Oh, wow. My gosh. This is incredible. You can order because you can find it, right? Exactly. Alright, I'm trying this one. Have to. There's so many to try. So little space in my stomach, this is all bread. <laughs> Alright. It's, it's more than like a pizza. It looks like a pizza. It tastes like a pizza too. Yeah. We call it a tasty pizza. Mm -hmm. It's a very light right up. Zubber dust. <laughs> Which one's next? This one? Yeah. This one potato. Oh, this one is soft. Yeah, stuff, stuff the potato inside. This is incredible. Super soft. These are more These crispy. These are crispier and this one is softer. So extremely soft though. Yeah. Outside, a little charred. 
love it. So it has spices. It has the aloo, right? Nice potatoes. A little bit spice, not so bad. Oh, but you have to mix it with the raita. Extremely delicious. You brought me to the best place, bro. He was like, you have to try this naan. I was like, naan? Only naan? He's like, only naan. Only naan. And this one, cheese naan. This cheese? Only cheese naan. This one's more like a pizza. Not the cheese. I got a little more this one. This one is the best. Five people, five nuns, five people, we all eat and we get stuff. What is the beef one? Mm. Delicious. If you don't come eat this naan, you have not eaten naan in Pakistan. It is the best. The best naan in Pakistan, right here. Five star naan. Alright. Wagga border, let's go. Shukriya. Thanks guys. The border is about 30 to 35 kilometers around from here. We are at, we are at Muslim town, more, uh, and we are heading toward Wagga border. And, we'll and is it the same as India when I get there, I can get like a flag? People are selling flags, Pakistan flags? Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes. Awesome. Uh, yeah, definitely buy one. Yes. I need to buy one. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah. There's no hoping. <laughs> I don't Inshallah. Know Inshallah. 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 Yeah. I know because yeah. now with COVID things are a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rain Due also. COVID and rain. Well, lots of people here. So, luckily for us, no more rain. Sun came out. Great day. Yeah. Just in time because that would be really bad because there's no covering at the Waka border. You're outside in like a little stadium, right? And you watch right, right. you watch the military come out. They perform like a it's a parade. Yeah, it's a kind yeah. of okay. Like, uh, cloud down yeah, at the very very end, they pull on the flag. So you have about I'd say a 45 minute ceremony, and you should get there early. That's why we're getting there early. Right now it's almost 2 p.m. It's at 5 p.m. But we're getting there about two and plus hours early because crowds and obviously right now because of COVID they're limiting how many people can go inside so we'll be there soon hopefully we run into something on the way uh, maybe some more snacks um, I don't know maybe a lassie I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> I mean we're in Punjab man in Punjab it's all about the lassie give me that ghee and that lassie we're about 15 minutes out from the border but we decided to stop because it's a very traditional dish here it's like a massive pizza huge pizza and behind me we have a UNESCO World Heritage Gardens this is Shalimar Garden. This is called Katlama. This is big size pizza and they do it the deep fried. So the deep fried pizza, deep fried, and what does it have? Just masalas? Yes, masalas. I mean, it looks great. Can we try it? They, they try it. They try some gram flour. Okay. And some masalas and they deep fried it. Amazing. Yeah. And then they have jalebi next to it. That's they have a sweet. Yeah. There's a lot of fruit vendors everywhere here. All right, guys, I'm going to try it. It's got a break it. Really good. Mm. Yeah. So it's basically fried dough. With some nice masalas. Hard to get it though. It's really oily. 
pretty damn good. I mean, wow. I don't know what to compare it to. I'd say it's more like a, a spongy consistency, right? Wow. Nice and tasty. Two masalas. Very good. Mmm. So it's all about breads. Bread, 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 bread. Sometimes oven, tandoori bread, sometimes deep fried bread. This is good, but obviously I prefer that beef. The beef uh, naan yeah, was the best. What is this? It's a sweet pakora. There you go. This is sweeter. I guess I'll try one. Sweet pakora. Mmm. Not the sweet. Crunchy. In the middle, very soft. It's made by rice flour and sweetened and deep fried, just simply. May I have another one? One more? Mmm! Crunchy! Super crispy! Super crispy! After this, we need chai! <laughs> we need chai to like wash all down! Yeah! We still have some time, so we're gonna stop for some chai! I need it! I need to wake up! Assalamu alaikum! Yeah, 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 but no water, no water. No water. Yeah, yes. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so this is a specialty. Just milk, yes. no water. Just yes, milk. And the... Uh, Dupati, right? Dupati. Good, nice. Oh, it's not so hot. Actually, it is, it is. Hey, cheers, cheers, guys, cheers. Let's go to the Waga border. Let's do this. Oh, wow. What well, a go pick me up right now. Cup number 250 of the trip. <laughs> Mmm, so good. Nice and hot. Mm. It's going down pretty fast though. I think it's the mug. The mugs cool it down. You can't have it cold? I need, I need it cool. I, don't, I can't have it this hot. It burns the pipe. <laughs> Thank you. Shukriya. See you soon. Alright, let's go. I can board. Let's go. We're about five kilometers from the border and over here to the left we have a big farming community. Lots of cows, goats, and sheep everywhere. And in front of us, you can see the pole and that is Waka border and we're getting to a checkpoint now. So camera has to go down. After about five checkpoints, we're finally inside the Waka border. Can't believe how many checkpoints. <laughs> Literally, they ask you the same thing, you know? And we have VIP parking. Well, that's great. Thank you, Manaki. And the one thing you have to do here is get a flag. What's up, guys? I give you a gift. You're gonna give me a gift? Yes, sir. I am Hashim's. What are you gonna put it on my arm? Awesome. I'm a face painter, regularly. Okay. Okay? Shukriya. Welcome, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> I opted out of the paint on top of the face because I have to be talking on camera. But this is nice. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you. You look great. And this is the Wagga border. Pakistan, India, as you can see, there's people here, but obviously they spread out everything because of COVID. The other side is empty because of COVID. They basically said no, no one's allowed in. And uh, yeah, the cool thing is, at the end of the ceremony, we're gonna go to line zero. Line zero. And sorry for the music, this is how it is. We have to get here an hour and 30 minutes early, so we still have an hour before the actual ceremony starts. It's gonna be epic. Yeah! And here we go, it's 12 o'clock, the ceremony I'm has sorry. begun!
Pakistan, Zindabad. Jive, Jive, Pakistan. Jive, Jive, Pakistan. Pakistan, Zindabad. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, bro. And that's it, guys. The day is over. We had incredible naans. That five-star naan. It's like the naan factory. Yes. We tried five. My favorite's the beef. Beef one. Beef one, yes. Beef all day for us. Yes. And then we, we drove a little bit. We came all the way over here. 30 minute drive. A lot of checkpoints to get in. And we saw the Wagga border. Incredible experience. You should definitely do it if you're in Lahore every single day. 5 p.m. Get here around 3 p.m. And, you know, obviously you just got to get here early. And hopefully there's seating, right? That's sort of how it works. Exactly. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> if you love the video, thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the next one in Lahore. Let's go. Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from hustling, bustling, Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. Today I'm taking you on a non-stop food tour of Lahore. We're going to be eating so many amazing things. The two that I can't wait for is the charga, roasted chicken and the tagatak. Tagatak is incredible. I've seen it in other cities but they told me, wait, wait, we have to do it only in Lahore because it's super famous here. It's basically either organs or 
goat meat. So it's goat, but you either get the organs or the meat, and they put it on the grill, and they go, -tac 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 -tac. that's why they call it tag attack. We're gonna start all this off with some pani puri, or better known here as galgapa. Follow me, let's eat. Hey David, you can't believe it. We have a point in Lahore where you can find 12 kind of gold kapas or pani puri in the hair. 12? Yeah, and he has about six kind of fruit charts. So different chutneys? Yeah, different Lots chutneys. Lots of chutneys. With mixtures of uh, chanas and fruit charts, they mix together by combining different combinations. We are just testing it. <laughs> You're tasting it? Is it mixing? Yeah, if different type of sauces here. Number six. Oh man. This is the first, I've never seen this. So six sauces and he mixes it for you. So that's your pani. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great. Mm. Nice and citrusy. I like it. Oh, it's like a fruity pani. Exactly. Mm. This is seven one. Seven. Eight, eight. What's it taste like now? I don't know. Lemon. It's amazing. So get rid of He makes one. eleven sauces. It's like lemon, orange, tamarind, mint, everything is in. Number 12. Wow. This is the most amazing bani ever. The most amazing one. I love it, man. So how many panis are we gonna have? Bani puris? I love this vendor. This is incredible. Check this out. So he has like 10 different sauces. When you come up, he'll like mix it for you. He makes something so you can try if you'd like. Then he'll actually pour a cup for you. So when you get the actual puris, right? So you have the puris here. You order. He'll give you like 10, 20, whatever you're ordering. And then the guy over here actually he pops the hole, fills it up with the chickpeas, the potatoes, the cabbage, big mix of masalas. Fills it up, you have your tray, and then you, yourself, with a spoon, fill it up, and make your galgapa. I, I love this. This is awesome. Guys, shukriya, shukriya. So, David, he's gonna make 12 different combination of galgapa. Oh my god. The banana? That's the best one ever. Ever. Your banana. What's there? Some dry fruit. Some tamarind. So sweet. Filling. Four four pieces for all of us. Four each. He, he is coming in with another batch. It's coming in hot then. Alright, yeah. let's go. How do we do it? Let's go. Let's, let's go. Oh, let's go. Woo. 
Bojan is sweet. That's really quickly, quickly, really fast, really fast. Yeah, they get soggy, right? Yeah. Fast. Every single one is different. Every single one. Every single piece is totally different. Not similar at all. Ooh, we need lots of chilies here, man. <laughs> These are the fruit ones. So you can have it with or without the pani. I'm gonna try this one without. Wow. Like a fruit salad. Yeah. With lots of yogurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, one. All right, guys. Cheers, man. Yeah. To Lahore. To Lahore. To Lahore. <laughs> The best bad spot best ever. One, best one. Ever. Find it. It's somewhere in Lahore. <laughs> if in time of water, they have a mixture of 12 different uh, chutneys. You can add anything or subtract anything of, depending on your taste. Mm -hmm. I've never had this before. Exactly. So many different variations. The bun is incredible. Exactly. Wow. All right. That's our starter. This, this was a starter. 11 pan, 11 uh -huh. <laughs> I'm ready for more food. Are you ready? <laughs> Zabardust, Shukriya, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go, man. Name renders to hell by. Now you know. Best Agapa in Lahore, probably in Pakistan. Wow. Most likely, because it's too good. All right, let's go eat some more food. Our first stop, we're gonna have the chicken. Right, roasted chicken? So David, here we have a very famous charga. First, they have steamed the roast, then they will deep fry it. So this vendor has a steamed chicken, then he fries it, puts it on the right. When customers come, they order to go, right? COVID times. On the right, you have the fried chicken. On the left, you have organs. You have uh, liver, stomach, neck, wings, a variety of things there. We're just getting the whole chicken fried and we're gonna eat it right over here on top of the car. All right, food's ready. Time to eat. And here we go. Fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hot. Be careful. Is it? <laughs> yeah. You think? Just gotta break it, right? Oh. Mm. Perfect. Good. Mm. Oh, so tasty. What is this? I've never had chicken that's been steamed and then fried with masalas. Light fried, not too deep. Nice, juicy. You have a lot of flavor with the masalas. Mm. It has a rich masala. Mm. Super rich. Wow. Oh my gosh, me a wing. What you should do, give some of that right then. Wow, and you can only find this here? It's like a traditional dish in Lahore? Well up then. Yeah? Oh, I like the breast. Look, very easy. Low fried chicken nugget. Pretty incredible. You know, for the COVID times, nowhere to eat. We're eating on the car. On the trunk. <laughs> the first time for you too, right? Look at this chunk. I'll give this uh, an A+. plus. A plus. Mm. I've been in fried chicken around the world. My tops are South Korea, America always. But this is something special. Oh man. 
I was full when I got here. <laughs> Whatever, YOLO. Mm. Nice garbage on the side. Next level. Level done. Level done. A little more. I'm good. I want taka tak. Taka tak, taka tak, taka tak, taka tak. Taka tak. Real thing, very fantastic. So the best thing of this terga was he steam first the rolls, then deep fry. By doing the steam, the masala rich in it, very strong. Then he fried, so you can get both taste, steam and deep fried. What is in one one bowl? Lots of moisture inside the meat, and that's yeah. in the steam. Exactly. That's in the steam, and then the friedness. It's a light fry. It's like a light batter. You know, exactly. yeah, not too bad. I can always keep going. I think how not. <laughs> that's amazing. We literally drove for one minute, and we're here at Taka Taka. Look at this. That's awesome. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you guys doing? Good? Taka tak? Here we have organ. Select what you want to eat. We can taka tak that. Wow, so what do we have? I mean, I don't even know. Do we have testicles here? Is that yeah, testicles? yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Liver, heart. Okay. heart. So heart, liver, testicles. Yeah, yeah. And then and also. Brain. And brain. And brain. Uh, Go chop. Chop. Okay. I don't know. I mean, what do you think will be the tastiest? The testicles? The testicles. Yes. You should. You should taste the it. Testicles. I'll try. I'll try. Yes. You? <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it works, right? You go over there. You choose what you want. You tell him. He picks it out. Yeah. Brings it over here in a bowl. And there's three guys here doing the takataks, right? So it really depends on what you want. So if you want organs or you just want straight meat, and then they mix it with ginger, black pepper, tomato, onion, I mean a big mix of stuff. It's like a big scrambled eggs, right? Exactly. Without the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting our food. Let's see. He's gonna cut up all the organs, gonna cut up some of the meat. We got meat too, right? Yeah, yeah. Meat and organs. Exactly. So first step, he chopped up all the organs. Then he chopped up an onion, added some salt. What's next? Probably a tomato. They added the tomatoes, then they covered it with a bowl, and now it's steaming. So they steam all the organs with the tomato, the onion, and a bunch of different spices. And I love that sound. Love it. All right, guys, so unfortunately, because of COVID, we literally had to walk two blocks away to eat because we can get them in trouble if we don't, right? Like, yeah. we eat there. Uh, so, I'm gonna have a roti. Yeah, roti. And then Chapati. go in and grab a bunch of organs. It's like a big scrambled egg. Yeah. Is it good? This is the best, trip, best dish of the trip. Really? Man, it's crazy. So many different textures here. Nice and oily, hot. Super spicy. I'm gonna get a box of this right here. If you come to Lahore and you don't eat this, you weren't here. Exactly. This is insane. I love it. Just the mixing, the cutting. Ooh, so hot. Everything has been chopped like in the perfect little dices, right? Lahore spice. Yeah. Really spice. Guys, this is incredible. Everything, testicles, brain, brain, liver, heart, heart liver, and chop. Oh, <laughs> the best dish, hand down. No, 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 no. No, no dish is better than this one. They had to, right? <laughs> they had to. <laughs> Get a piece of naan and then go right in here, look. So it just looks like scrambled eggs with chilies. You would not un like know that's organs at all. Yeah, when you bite it, you have no idea either. It just tastes so good. Wow. Guys, if you don't stop me, I will eat this whole thing. So hot. Wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This is right there. Yeah, right there. Organs. 
No, just get, just get the organs with a spoon, dude. And the ginger. Mmm, nice hot chilies. Oh, man. I tasted that. That was the heart. Yeah. <laughs> This is the ultimate dish. I'm gonna dream about this dish for the rest of my life, man. I'm coming to Lahore. So I get here, I'm going to this guy. After that, I'm going to the Gogoba guy. After that, I don't know. It's totally fresh, you know. It took it in front of you. Yeah, it's all fresh. This animal wasn't even frozen. He died today, right? Fresh. Everything is fresh. I'm gonna have a little more. I'm gonna have a little more, guys. Have to. It's too good, right? Oh, so spicy, man. This is the ultimate Pakistan dish ever. Wow. I'm definitely gonna feel it tonight, though. Too many chilies. <laughs> chilies, tomato. My man, Shukriya. So good. So good. Tasty. Tuck, 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 tuck. Shukriya, Shukriya. The best, the best dish. Oh, that was the ultimate dish. And now we're finishing everything off at 9.30 with some Kashmiri chai. Kashmiri chai. Okay. All right. One minute drive and we're here for the Kashmiri chai. It's raining, it's late. I love this city. The wall city of Lahore. Oh, incredible. In our original way, the green tea whole night. Minimum four, five, six stars. After that, they put milk in it. Why is it pink though? When you cook the green tea in water, it will be a light reddish, dark red or maroon color. By putting a milk in uh, maroon color uh, liquid, it, it will get pink. And here we go, scorching hot Kashmir chai. Oh wow. I mean, it's extremely milky. There's obviously nuts on top. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's great though. I mean, it's completely different than the other one. So, very different. It reminds me a little bit of the pure milk that does. Tupati, Tupati. Reminds me similar, but different. Just extremely creamy. Oh, it's super hot. Well, my friends, that is our tour tonight. We had an epic tour. Some of my favorite food I ever tried in Pakistan, right here. We had kagaba, incredible. 12 different tastes, like flavors. Every single one was unique. A lot of flavors. Oh, so many flavors. You have to go there when you come here. Then after that, we had that chicken. What's the name of it? Ch Charga. 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 So they steam it, then they fry it. It's juicy. You know, it has a lot of flavor. Light nice layer of like, you know, crispiness on the outside. Not too fried, like just right. Not too deep fried, right? And after that, we had the best thing I ever tried in Pakistan. All the organs. I mean, it was worth the wait. We waited like an hour for that because it's a big line but you know he chops up all the organs kidney heart liver uh testicle brains chops i think i got all that right and desigi and spices chilies incredible and then we finish it all off with this incredible chai and that's all in this area the only thing out of the area was it going to everything else is right here in this food street and what's the food street called? Right now we are in Lachmicho. Okay, Lachmicho. So this is Lachmicho. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video here in Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with Manaki. If you did, thumbs up, comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Lahore. Tomorrow we're going all out with the markets. Mm, no, so nice. Give me more. Yes, sir. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. This morning I'm going to take you to explore the Ichira Bazaar, an incredibly famous cloth market. As you can see, so many different vendors around me, they also have delicious food. It is right now 9 in the morning, we're going to go look for some breakfast. You guys ready? Follow me. So what do we know about this place? 
दोस्तों दिस इज़ द मोस्ट फेमस क्लॉथ मार्केट इन लाहौर एंड इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट टू बाय एनी एनी थिंग फॉर हिज होम एनी थिंग यू कैन बाय हेयर यू नो होम गुड्स राइट सो थिंग्स फॉर द हाउस यू हैव बकेट्स यू हैव ब्रूम्स क्लॉथ लॉ क्लॉथ so many different vendors like this right so there's like bridal stuff exactly a lot of this is for weddings exactly beautiful exactly. gowns first we will have a paratha aloo wala paratha and then we will go for a patura and as we're walking through this market you'll notice on the left we have a lot of jewelry so this is considered jewelry exactly. part of the market exactly always together right the jewelry market's always like all the all the competitors all are next to each other next to each other exactly <laughs> <laughs> It's really funny. So they have necklaces. They have uh, bangles, right? So yeah, yeah. Bangles. These are bangles. Beautiful. I love these for my daughter. This is great. Like. But the gold price is always the same worldwide. Just obviously exactly. it changes with the designer, right? Exactly. They exactly. up their price depending on what what it took to make that. Exactly. It's gorgeous. I love this one, man. I would wear, it, but I just don't wear bangles. <laughs> <laughs> you can have one. <laughs> the guy's too funny. He's like, come over here. I'm gonna dance for you. <laughs> They're so funny. They're too funny. Everybody's so friendly here. Right. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Everything good? Everything good. good Perfect. For you. Incredible. Thank you. Good. Good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the guy. <laughs> the kids is flying through here. This is great. He was about 12 to 13 years. I know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is Bakar Khani and this is uh, Khatai. Both made in tandoor. Yeah, these are more like biscuits, right? So you have one big one and it has a hole in the middle. It looks like a huge donut, but very flaky. Uh and you know, this is paired best with chai. Also the biscuits at the top, that is straight biscuits, okay? Mainly in tandoor though, it's a little different. And right here with a tandoor oven. What's up guys? Assalamu alaikum. Everything good? Nice and crispy, huh? Yeah, it's very crispy. They're both best with chai, but I'm going to try a biscuit really quick. Let me get a little one. Stuff together. Mhm. Mm nice biscuit. You put a lot of ghee? A lot of ghee in here, right? So, butter, regular butter. Nice and dense, flaky. Obviously, you have to have some to wash it down. Cuz if not, you get stuck. Mhm. Mm mhm. The best with chai. Let's go. This vendor is too nice. He's like, no, no, you have to try with chai. You have to. So he's giving us a bag and he's not charging us. Friend, you're you're incredible. Great hospitality here, man. Yeah. So the market is just coming to life, right? He said by the time it's like noon, it's really really packed. It's very packed. Very packed. packed. And over here we have a bunch of butchers, right? Yeah. So you have a this is know, an organ shop. Organ shop. Yeah. This is an organ shop. Wow. So you got the stomach, liver, kidney, heads. This is as real as it gets, guys. In every market in Pakistan, you're going to find very similar, you know? You're going to find butchers that literally just killed their goats. And that's the freshest you can get, right? So this is just how the country is. Please be aware about, it. um, you know, a little graphic, but it's real. It's real life. Come here, you get the freshest goat, you get the organs, you get the head. You know, this is all, you know, what they use to make takatak and a lot of other dishes, right? It smells uh, a little intense, but it's great. Hey, Shukriya, Shukriya. It's a pottery shop. Pottery shop? Yeah. So they made all the things from the clay and this is a very traditional item they have. I love it. The only problem is with the clay is that it's really, really heavy. So taking it home is a little harder. But I mean, look at this. They got mugs. They have uh, plates, jars, pots. This is great. Look at this. This is the... Piggy bank, right? Or the bank? You yeah, put yeah, you yeah, put yeah. your <laughs> coins inside. <laughs> I usually buy this for my daughters, but this is really heavy, man. <laughs> shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. Yeah. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm mhm. Super nice. Oh my gosh, guys, how? Mmm. Mmm, a little different. Mmm, big nut. Mmm. Got a breakthrough in the Muslim culture, especially during Ramadan. This is what exactly. you use to, to break exactly. fast exactly. and before fast, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice nut, it's on the floor. Yeah, this one's softer. Yeah, this is this one is very like a toffee or chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one has no nut. Wow. Very softy. Yeah. Empty. And, yeah, and that was one a little bit harder. Shukriya. Shukriya guys, Good thank you. What's your channel name? Shukriya. David's been here, right here. I've been here in Lahore. Let's eat, man. Let's go. I'm starving. 
Right? You're hungry? Yeah. Yeah, be careful here. Now, it's becoming alive and there's a lot of tuk-tuks. So many tuk-tuks coming through here. Motorcycles. Over here, I think we have a tea shop. We have baratas somewhere here. More butchers. Oh, wow. And it's raining. Is it? The paratha? They have a two kind of paratha. One is alu wala paratha, potato paratha. The second one is the chicken and vegetable paratha. Okay, I have ordered both. You ordered both already? Yeah. Awesome. So it's right here, right? They have this huge sizzler, right? The big pan. The guy over here, he's rolling it up. Then he puts the stuff, you know, the, the alu inside. Then he puts another paratha on top. Then he rolls it down, makes it really flat. Throws it onto the pan. Then this gentleman keeps moving it around with oil, right? Just yes. a lot of oil. Yes. At, at the end, they will apply an egg on it. Egg on top too? Oh, look right here. There's two types of paratas in Pakistan. There's the one that you put in the tandoor, and then there's the one that you put here on the frying pan. This one's a little different, obviously, more oily, crispier. Uh, I can't wait for this one because it's stuffed, right? So two different types of stuffings, and then obviously the egg on top. Great breakfast item. And I just love how many do it at a single time. And it's like a pizza, right? Just a huge circular shape. And then they have a pizza box in case you want to get to go. Luckily for us, they do have seating right here because it's open air. So we get to sit down, we get to eat here. Oh man, I'm excited, I'm hungry. Oh man, this looks great. Shukriya, shukriya. So luckily for us, they have a huge dining hall next door. I thought it was just that little interior. Yeah. Look at this, big space. big space. And we have a lot of food here. Wow, so two different ones. So which one is which? Uh, this is a vegetable okay. plus chicken. Okay. And awesome. this is pure potato and over, over the egg. Over the egg, yes. Yeah, so you can see the egg on top, right? Very nice. We have applied the uh, omelet over it. And then here we have the right done. And also we have a right done. So we just go in and... Yes. Oh, wow, look at that. So it's double layer. Double layer. Ooh, <laughs> it's still super hot. This is a different type of parata because it's, it's fried or, you know, it's put on the frying pan. So dip it, right? This reminds me of a dosa. <laughs> wow. Mm. Spicy. Love the egg on top. Nice and crispy. So many layers. Amazing. So it's gonna be a little spicy. Looks it. I mean, a lot of spice in there, a lot of chilies. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. This one wins. Wow, so it's, it's almost like minced chicken, right? It's big, I mean, in terms of size, huge. If you're gonna eat one yourself, you're eating an entire pizza. Yeah. Basically. Right there. Wow, this is incredible. Nowhere else can you find this pasta? I don't think so. Every vendor has a different taste. Mm -hmm. They have applied the plus factor of this paratha. They have applied many vegetables in it. Mm -hmm. They don't claim it as a chicken paratha. They claim it as a vegetable and chicken paratha. Well, I'll tell you, this is a perfect way to start a day. Bringing delicious breakfast item. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, I love the veggies. I love the spiciness, the oiliness, and it's soft. It's not so thick, you know? Super yeah, thin. Mm. Oh, wow. I have tried few paratha, but they are much softer. But this is much little crispier. A little crispy. Yeah, but still doughy inside. Yes, yeah. I'm in love. I'm probably right. This is my favorite paratha ever, uh, especially the uh, you know fried. Nice oil. Killer. <laughs> Killer. So now we have our chai and our biscuits. Yeah. This one looks this incredible. A big biscuit. Big biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Nice and flaky. Look at it. It's called bakar khani. Bakar khani. Bakar khani. Yeah. And so how do we do it? We just break it off, we right? We just have to break, break off. I mean, straight flaky. <laughs> Sweet. I don't know if the sweetness is from here or from here. The teeth. 
Yeah? I mean, look at that. Just fell apart. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Incredible chai. What chai is this? Is this a unique chai? I mean, is there certain something different about this chai? Yeah, it's very different. Chai. Oh, the uh, jaggery. Yeah, yeah, the uh, jaggery. But because this shop, they, okay. they add jaggery. This almost tastes like frosted flakes. Yeah, yeah. like cereal. Same thing. Nice and crunchy. Very crispy. Very crispy. Mm. Yeah, this is more stale. Exactly. But it's perfect. The combination. I wouldn't eat this alone. It has to go with the chai. Cheers, mm. bro. Oh yeah, this is straight up cereal. Yeah, exactly. With milky chai. Hey, we just started. Oh, incredible. So good. I'm done for now. Take a break. Yeah, I also love jaggedy. So sweet. Yeah. What is that? Fish. Is that from Karachi? No, no. It's Punjabi fish. The farm fish. And few. they have few items from the river. But most of the fish came from the uh, farms. So many butchers. So many. This street is like... Full, easily 25 different butcher shops, but now we're getting past that into more of the market in terms of clothing. Over here, we also have vegetables and fruits, right? But clothing over here, clothing over there. Man, it looks really old, huh? How old is market? Centuries, huh? When we we'll go to the wall city, you can get the authentic old living style there. But the Ichra is the one of the most commonly known as the oldest town in Lahore. Over here we have a vegetable vendor with a million vegetables. Look, so we have carrots, onions, ginger, okra. And right next to us we have another butcher shop. And look at this carcass. That's a cow right there? That's a cow. This is a chapati. At this hotel they don't have a tandoor. So people uh, who don't like to have a tandoori roti, they came here for this uh, two roti. So basically it's it's almost like a, like a pan, but the way it's shaped is more like circular cylinder, right? And then he just puts it on top, it puffs up, flips it over, puffs up, and that's it. No oil. No oil. No oil. Very clean, right? Very it's gonna be a lot lighter. Right in front of the guy in Chapati, we have them making some beef like stew, right? It's like a beef stew. Lots of fat, lots of meat. It smells so good. And the bones, the bone marrow. Oh, the smell is unbelievable. Shukriya, shukriya. It's amazing. Yes, this is really amazing. This is the time for lunch here. This is a, one of the biggest dairy shop in, in the town. You can find milk and yogurt 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. Like this, look at this. Yeah. Huge vat of Huge. milk. You have all the cups, you just keep pulling them out, filling into bags. People yeah. come, they purchase. That's how it works. And they also have Malaya over there. Yeah. Mm. Yogurt. Incredible. It's very famous. Very famous. Huh? Very famous. It is old, old, old. Maybe 30 years old. Only. This gentleman is too nice. He's like, you have to try our Malai. So basically, it's yogurt, oh, mix oh, of sugar. Oh, yes, it's good. Yes, it's good. Yes, and, then, yes, yes. and then he added some milk, right? So just like that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. Very it's why this guy is so big. Uh, He's strong. Uh, Punjabi. Amota. Amota. Yeah, Punjabi mm. It's crazy good. This all I need is some granola, and then I'll be hungry. So <laughs> Oh, so tasty. Lots of sugar. You guys want? I'm good. I'm already. I know I'm full. I'm full. Sugar, yeah. I love this shop. So if you're ever looking for some milk or some yogurt, come right here. The biggest shop in the area for milk. Milk over here. You go over here. These guys don't stop. The clients is coming in. I mean, this is all the locals, right? They just keep coming in. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. Let's go. So we are entering in a cloth market. Cloth market. Cloth market. Yeah. Awesome. Girls came here to buy bangles. And these, you can check it, the colorful bangles, some fancy bangles, 
they have all kind of angles. This market just doesn't end. I mean, it's a labyrinth, right? It just keeps going and going and going. It gets more narrow. This part is covered as we keep going through. It opens up and then it gets wider again. But lots of fabric. Again, this is the fabric market. So you're gonna find lots of fabric for female shops. There's men's shops, so different types of clothing, right? Wow, so here you can find what I have. They're selling the, the just the fabric. So you can go and tailor yourself, right? Yes. It's beautiful. Shawa fabrics, look at that. So all fabric shops right here on this row. This is a men wear. Other shops were belong to females clothing. So this whole shop is for men clothes. You can uh, buy cloth and for your shalwar kameez and you can get some pant or shirt suiting hair. Basically they're selling the cloth or the fabric, right? And then the tailor makes it, correct? So, but here he's not selling it ready. He's just selling it like this, right? Just, just fabric. You have to give your size to tailor and he will stitch it according to your size. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So this is a woman's shop, right? Yes. So are, this is for a wedding or this is just special occasion, right? I love this one. The pink one, beautiful. Blue one as well. Okay, I think we're done with this part of the market. Let's go find some food. Thanks guys. Take care. 10 minutes in, all you see is fabrics, right? Fabrics, 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 some bangles. We're just non-stop fabric shops. Okay, are we exiting? Okay, yeah. Back to the fabric area. Now we're getting to the food again. This is the most famous patura shop in Lahore. You have puris, you have chole, patura. That's called patura? Yeah. Okay. It reminds me of a puri, like a big puri, but yeah. Yeah, it's a patura. Okay. Chani, pickle, and raita. And then he's gonna throw the dough in into the fryer. The difference is between the halwa puri and the patura is they have added lentils in the dough. In the dough? Yeah, they have added some lentils and some masala. Okay, that's and, unique. And another difference is the halwa puri has halwa in it. But puri there is no halwa. But they have added uh, pickle and salad and chana with it. It's a more spicier than the halwa puri. Yeah, so we have chana. We have, so it's chickpeas, we have uh, the raita, pickle, cabbage, yeah. and then this big guy. Woo! This one is a bit softer. Yeah. It smells great. Oh, amazing flavor. Yes. The aroma, like. It's a different one. Oh. Because they have added masalas and lentils in it. Let's see. Just bring it up. Oh, still so hot. Get in here with the chole. Get a little bit of rice at the same time. Maybe a pickle. Rice, you get everything, right? Oh. You have to try a pickle with salad and rice. Mm. So tasty, this is so soft, this one, nice and doughy, oily, not crispy. This is a powder butter. Yeah, super soft. Oh, I love it with the cabbage salad on the side. Not really spicy. It's hard because I'm so used to spice that when it even is a little spice, I'm like, nah. Oh, I love the pickle, man. You got a little, little ting, right? Oh, this one's a little crispier on this side. Right? So, so many layers. And you go in here. So you just mix it, right? I love it because the raita like kills the heat a little bit. Oh, I love the pickle. The cabbage makes it, gives it a nice crunch. Phenomenal. Oh, the pickle. That's the best thing to add to this. Mm. And this is Samalina noodles. Sweet, right? Very sweet with some dairy. Nice, super thin noodles, nice and creamy. Very sweet. Great palate cleanser, but I'm good. He brings it from his home. No way. Yeah. Shukriya. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Shukriya. Let's go. Let's go. So we are going to try a Tahi Bhalle of the Lahore. The famous one in Lahore Itra. And it's right here at this shop. Yeah, so Lahore Dahi Bhalle. So it's right at the entrance of the market. Yes. Let's try it. So Dahi Bhalle is a mixed chat. There's so many different things here. Obviously lots of yogurt, lots of crunch. You know, that's wheat flour, it's a cracker, uh, there's chickpeas, and I don't know what the green is. I think it's some mint chutney. Mint chutney. That's it? Yeah. Should we just try it? First I have to mix it. Oh, you have to mix the whole thing? Yeah. So mix it up. Whoa, look at this. Wow. 
I love these chats. They're so sweet. They're crunchy. They're refreshing, especially in the heat. Wow, and, and I love how they mix a lot of cabbage. You guys do a lot of salad here. Let's try it. So refreshing, nice and cold. So it's like a, they have a cold salad, right? With brunch, sweet chutney, with mint chutney. Yeah. Good. Either you have it like a mixed snack, right? Or as a dessert, we're having a dessert right now. Really filling, really filling. The crackers give it very unique taste by eating it. Yeah, it's a nice crunch, right? One last bite for good measure. Mm. And that is our tour of Ichira Bazaar, one of the most incredible, fascinating, colorful, vibrant markets in Lahore. So many fabrics here, right? So easily like two, 3,000 vendors, just fabrics. There's also a lot of food. Obviously at the beginning there was butchers. We tried incredible paratas. I mean, absolutely delicious. I love them. Best parata ever. And then after that, we walked around, we also tried, <laughs> okay, and then we tried the chai with the biscuit. Yeah, biscuit. I loved it. It was like almost like a cereal, how it like flakes inside the chai. And then after that, we kept exploring, we saw more vendors, and then we tried the bature. 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 So, again, a little different from a puri. So they mix things into the dough, and then you have it paired with chana, uh, with raita, with cabbage salad, and also pickles. And then, yeah, to get out of here is pretty intense. It's already uh, 12.30 right now. And if you guys want to beat the crowds, get here early. I say 9 or 10 in the morning, so you can have breakfast, explore. And yeah, guys, that is the tour of the market. If you love the video, thumbs up, comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Lahore, Pakistan, with Manaki. Let's go. Yo. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. Today I'm gonna take you to explore two main roads, Hall Road and Beaten Road. This is the electronic market. Here you're gonna find everything from mobile, so telephones, you got TVs, laptops, etc. At the end of the road, we have a famous biryani house called Wakas Biryani. They serve chicken biryani, super spicy. He told me, if you come here to Lahore, and you don't try this biryani, you didn't try the best biryani in the city. And then after that, we're gonna go to the other side, you know, Beaten Road, and try some ice cream, famous shop as well. All right guys, mask on, this place is nuts, let's go. Hey David, at Hall Road, there are a lot of shops. Let me show you some mobile shops. You gotta be really careful here. So many motorcycles, so many cars. Look at the amount of motorcycles here. Thousands. Thousands. So they have uh, mobile protectors, uh, glass protector screen and back cover. Any, any kind of model, you name it, they will give you back. So this is where everybody comes to buy their cell phones, right? Yeah. They come, they buy the cell phone, and in front you have this mini kiosk, right? Yeah. And they sell protectors, right? So it's entire phone protectors, right? Yeah. Covers, yeah, yeah. and then screen back protectors. and screen protectors. Nice. Exactly. And the whole road's like this. Right? Oh, oh. Till end, till end. The same energy. I've never seen as many <laughs> motorcycles. Like a billion Hondas. Exactly. So all the shops that you see, the inside are new mobiles or new cell phones. Outside, the mini kiosk, right in front of the shop, that's all used, right? So all used phones here, inside that's new. And then in front, you have all the protectors. That's how it works. The whole street's like this. If I had a bike and I came in here and parked, this would be a parking nightmare. Mm -hmm. How do you find your bike? It's the easiest job. Right? Believe me, it is the easiest job to find your bike. Every owner recognizes his own bike. If you don't get your bike, just ask the owner of the parking uh, stand. Okay. He will find get, get you fine. I mean, it's pretty unbelievable because all the bikes are exactly the same. They're all Hondas, all red. Yes, they're yes, literally yes. exactly the same. And there is... They are looking the same, but they are not. You're getting a token number with that. Oh, you got a yeah. token number. Okay, okay. I thought you just parked and go. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. no you... And obviously, you know exactly where you park, or at least yeah, the shop yeah. you park yeah, in yeah. front of, right? Yeah. This is the most crowded street in all of Pakistan. Exactly. The hard road is always jam-packed. Always like this, always, right? Always, This is crazy. I mean... Easily like 200,000 people here. Easily. No, 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 I'm joking. Minimum, but minimum, minimum. <laughs> no, <laughs> can't be 200,000, but a few thousand for sure. I mean, just non-stop. And there's lots of buildings here, right? So like three-story buildings. You got all the motorcycles, all the vendors, all the clients. 
What's up, guys? Mask on, mask on. To get through here is intense. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Okay, whoa. This is extremely packed. The last place I was like this was in Delhi, in Chandni Chok. Oh man, too much, too much. And besides just mobile shops and stuff, a lot of places to eat, like lots of snacks, lots of chats, exactly, right? Exactly. Oh, here's a lot of, a lot of chat centers. You will find people having lunch here. Oh my gosh, this is so crowded. <laughs> you have to keep your mask on the whole time. Yeah, exactly. And obviously, it rained. That's why you see. Yeah. This like this, right? It's not it's not sewer. This is literally just the rainwater. Yeah, rain. I love how many food places there are here. So many. So many. So many, so many. Every corner has a food corner. So if you want to eat street food, you could definitely do that here. Exactly. But we came here for one reason and one reason only. Briyani. Briyani. I know how much it fills you up, so I'm eating that first. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second hand computer market. You can buy anything you want in your budget. If you have a high budget, low budget, you can buy it. Remember, computers are expensive. I mean, spending $500 to $1,000 for a computer for somebody who doesn't have that budget, you know, they, they can't afford it. So they come here and they can spend like $100. They buy the screen, they buy the tower, and also mouses. Pretty cool. I mean, this is a huge amount. What kind of keyboard you want? A bigger one, a smaller one, wireless, wide. The mouses they have, a big variety of mouses and everything you want you can buy it here the same way you can buy a laptop a used laptop from dual core to i5 i7 third generation to fifth six seven eight generation what you want you can buy it here and it's all refurbished right so they've cleaned it out they've cleaned it up exactly beautiful i mean it looks brand new exactly and this is it wakas biryani look at that 20 people are standing outside like 50 people waiting to get the biryanis I don't know where we're gonna eat. We're gonna have to eat outside standing up, right? Because the way it is now, I don't think they have a dining room in here. Okay, let's find out. Upstairs? Upstairs. In the cooking area. Let's go. Hey guys, we're in the kitchen area where they have the biryani. Kitchen is upside. They are just packing it. Due to Corona, the sitting area is closed. So they are delivering it. This is biryani. They have the chicken pieces separately. So what uh, on the client demand, they add chicken piece or they don't want it depends on the client they want a simple biryani or chicken biryani like you said this place doesn't stop i mean it just keeps going and going and going so they take out the biryani right all the rice then they add chicken if you want if you want to keep it separate they do that as well and then they bag it all up to go obviously COVID times everything is takeaway so we're gonna get our biryani we're gonna walk around to one of these alleys and eat they also have an elevator that brings down the biryani. So they don't have to carry it down, they just put it into the elevator, goes down, this, the empty dish goes back up. Okay, so we're gonna get our biryani, we're gonna eat somewhere out here in this alley. And this elevator is happening after every five minutes. Five minutes. Every five minutes. So they probably sell thousands of biryani today. I mean, with the amount of people on this road, I'm sure they sell hundreds of thousands. <laughs> okay, we got access to the kitchen. Incredible. We're gonna see how they make the biryani. VIP treatment. This is the owner. He's giving us the opportunity to see how they make the biryani. Oh, can't wait. Chicken and spicy. So here at this step, he is mixing the masala in water, and later on he will add the rice in it. Basically, they're heating up the masalas. You know, everything is blended together, gives it a nice spicy taste. Then he gets all this, all this rice, right, and throws it in there. Then it cooks. Yeah. And it cooks together, and that's why it's so moist and delicious. Yes. First they wash with the cold water, then they wash it the hot water for the cleanliness and the uh, kill the bacteria. This is incredible. Can't wait. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're starving now, man. After seeing the whole process, being in the furnace, man, it is so hot in here. I don't know how they do that. I really don't know. Woo! All right, guys, this is it. The biryani, chicken biryani. What is this on the side? Shami kebab. Shami kebab? Yeah. What is that? It's a lentil, mashed lentils. Mashed lentils, okay. Yeah. So mashed lentils, we have always raita, half your raita on the side, a salad. And this chicken is steamed and then lightly fried. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. So first, just get some of that rice, right? Yeah. I can eat biryani every day. 
Every day. Three times a day. And most of the shopkeepers have biryani daily. Yeah, the most, mostly. Mm. Look at this. It just fell apart. So what you want to do is you want to break the chicken inside. You know, obviously mix some of that with the rice. That's crazy good, man. Spicy though. Really spicy. And I'm gonna try the kebab now. Oh, nice and soft. The best biryani in Pakistan right here. I love the spice level. Not crazy on spice. Nice, you know, nice masala throughout. Obviously, they're cooking with a lot of chilies, right? And then the chicken. Wow. It's so like moist inside. That light batter, you know, that's like how the chicken is up here, right? In Lahore. Mm. You guys saw that rice? Dip it into that some right there. Biryani that you have to eat. No other biryani. Do not miss this one. Oh man, I love the spice. Mm, so different from bulao. Bulao is like no spice, just sweet, right? Because of all the dry fruits. Bulao is much drier, but biryani has a much, much more of the tastier and the much spicier. Yeah, and more moist, right? Exactly. I would say it's closer to like a like a risotto. Like in terms of that, because sometimes like paella in Spain is dry, like super exactly. dry. The risotto is always more like I wouldn't say ever wet, it's moist, right? Has a little bit of that of, of water in there. Incredible. And again, nowhere to eat, so we're eating right here on the side of the road. My man, it's too much. It's too much. Amazing. Riani in Lahore. Both the kebab and the chicken. What's on the right Mmm. Oh man. I love it. Great combination. Nice and mushy. The potato fritter. Mmm. If it's too hot, do some right up. I love this country. Mm. Right out, you have a very perfect. And every single right is different. Everywhere you go, it's always going to be different. Completely different. This biryani will blow your mind. I'm in heaven right now. That is a biryani fight right there. It was too hot. I almost died in there. The heat was unbearable, but definitely worth the experience. Next up is some ice cream. Ice cream and some water. Super dehydrated. It's hot. Stopping for a quick chai break. My friend, piping hot. Mmm, nice. Mmm, creamy. So hot. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Cheers. I love this. Walking around in the chaos, eating delicious food, and then you go into this alley, way less people, lots of air, and you have delicious chai. I need something to wake up, man. <laughs> it's 3.30 and I'm really full. Menaki, thank you so much, bro. Good. Welcome. Welcome to the heart. Shukriya, shukriya. Take care, guys. And this is Beaten Road, the other main road with electronics. But this one's more light fixtures, right? So light fixture shops everywhere. That's all you see. Thinner street, you know, not not so wide, a lot more narrow. Uh, it's, it's a it's a one way road, but the motorcycles are coming from both ways. Yeah. It's definitely a one way road, man. It's too small. Uh, and right here, the very end, we have an ice cream shop. Ice cream, famous ice cream. Why not, right? Why? We're in Punjab. You gotta eat all that dairy, right? <laughs> 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 no, nah, but it's good. I love it because there's so much things happening. Look at this. Look at this TV. That's the type of stuff you see here. Man, crazy amount of light fixtures, huh? I've never seen so many light fixtures on a road before. Like this many vendors. So much competition for each other. Assalamu alaikum. So this is called Amritsar Sweet Shop. Established in the year 1947, the year of independence. And here they have a lot of sweets. And then we're gonna try some gulaj jamun. Because they say it's the best. We have a patisa. 
and we have a gulab jamun. And here we go. The sweet shop has so many incredible decadent sweets, but we got gulab jamun, burfi, patisa, patisa. Yes. I guess I'll go with gulab. Gulab jamun. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Have whatever you want, man. One drink. Mm. No, I tried before, but it was good. Mm. Super sweet. It's like the leggy layers. Leggy layers here with it. And very dense. Okay. And this one? Let's see. I think this one we need to bring in half because. Oh, I like it. Crumbly. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like Ras Gula and Ras Balaya. No? It's not so dense. It's very easy to buy soup. This is different, right? Very good. So, Ras Gula, right? I'm gonna get a small one because they're really big. Mm -hmm. Nice bite size. I love it. As soon as you bite into it, the moisture just pops out. Mmm. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We're going from sweet to more sweet. Delicious, my friend. Sugaria. Thank you. Sugaria. Delicious. Super. Let's go. Sweet. That guy was too kind. He kept pulling more things out. I was like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. He's like, no, you have to try it. Uh, yeah, he didn't even charge us, obviously. He's just like, here, you have to, you have to try it. Incredible people here. Incredible. Uh oh, That was funny. That was so funny. Now, where's the ice cream shop? This one, Chaman? Is it Chaman? Yes, Chaman is here. That's it. Chaman ice cream shop. Here we are at Chaman ice cream and they have a huge variety of ice cream, the most popular ice cream parlor in Lahore. So you can select which flavor you want. What do they have? I mean, is it chocolate, vanilla, just regular flavors or anything yeah, different? Regular flavors. Regular yeah, flavors? Flavor, regular flavor. Okay, so I'll go with uh, chocolate. Chocolate, vanilla, small, big. Small, small. I got chocolate and vanilla. What'd you get? I got the kulfa. Kulfa? Yeah, kulfa. Okay. Let's go. Let's do. Let's see what it's like. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. A little creamier in this ice cream. Yeah, it's a cream. Mm -hmm. Mine also has chocolate chips inside. My ice cream has a dry fruit in it. That's this special. This is the best way to, to end this tour because the biryani still tastes the spices. Yeah. Even flushing down with a chai, still tastes it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm. Gotta dig deep in here. Get some of this vanilla. Mmm. Wow. Oh man, the vanilla is not the same as any regular vanilla I've ever had. So unique. I have the both both scoop of uh, kulfa. You have mixed with uh, chocolate and vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted the mix. So I like at the end, you know, you just mix it. <laughs> You know, I'm not a huge sweets guy, but when in Pakistan, definitely gotta try all the sweets. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Beaten Road and Hal Road. Beaten Road and Hal Road and the biryani? Bokas biryani. Bokas biryani. So yeah, I mean, going through these roads is incredible. The other road, so many bikes, so many people. It feels like <laughs> crazy chaos, but it's awesome. I mean, just going through it, you get to experience something really unique. You don't really see that in Pakistan in terms of uh, you know, so many people in one place, you don't see it anywhere. Just walking through, seeing all the different vendors selling food, walking through all the different styles of markets because there's a few other vendors there as well, like the used computers. And then finally trying that biryani and seeing the process, how they make it was awesome. VIP access going up to the top, trying the biryani, the best biryani in Pakistan, hands down. Delicious chicken, we got the potato fritter and spicy biryani, spicy rice. Oh, phenomenal with some raita, the best. And then keep going, have some chai, come to this street. The best thing to do on this street is try, you know, go to Amritsari uh, Sweets, yeah. 1947, one of the oldest in the country because it, it literally is from the day it was independent, 1947. And then come here to the Chaman Dairy Ice Cream and try their delicious ice cream. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next one in Lahore, Pakistan.
do it. Good. This is good stuff. It's too much. We'll be great here, Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the Horn, Pakistan in partnership with my friends Abenaki. Today I'm taking you to eat three famous dishes here at night. We're gonna have la dupiti, we're gonna have a samosa, and we're gonna have organic rooster karai. I love karai, it's so good with tomatoes, and our first stop is right here, la dupiti, follow me. David, here we are at Molvi Golkapa. He is very famous for Golgapa, but his specialty is a uh, laddu pidi wala. So laddu pidi is made with the lentils. They grind the lentils and fry, deep fried. Just so they serve it with a uh, chutney. Well, you know, I'm so happy because we're also gonna have Golgapa, my favorite. I had no idea. That was unexpected. Golgapa, Golgapa. Oh, oh, good man. They have a dough of uh, lentils. They have grind the lentils. And now he's making the laddu and put in the deep fry. Basically, it's a lentil fritter, right? Yeah. Very easy, shaped like a, a mini biscuit, right? Or a donut, donut, right? Very crispy. Oh, it looks great. Oh, and he also adds that, that black pepper. This looks amazing. He put the lentil dough in, then he waits a little bit. I think it was like a minute, two minutes. Then he flipped every single one. Then he waited another two minutes, then he put them all again. And on the top, you can see the black pepper. So that's where you have the spice, right? And we're gonna pair this with some chutneys. Should be great. All right, we're about to eat some galgapa. My favorite, bani puri. We do it every day, every single day. Oh, great, I love this. Open air terrace in the back. Perfect. Let's do it. All right, our dinner has started. This is our appetizer. <laughs> so we have galgapa. We have raita, we have a sweet chutney. Over here we have two different panis. This one's more sour, this is sweet. Then we have la dupiti. La dupiti. Incredible, so we're gonna start off with this one because this one's still really hot, it just came out of the fryer, right? Out of the oil. So, this is the way you do it, right? First we need to add water. Okay, I'm gonna go with sweet. I'm gonna go with a little sweet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this one first, then I'll mix. Yeah. So I'll do it. What do you want uh, for yours? This? Yeah. Yeah. Both. Both? Both, both. Okay. So I guess me too. A little bit. No oh, man, we're, we're eating a lot today. It will melt down. Okay, so dip it in, like drown it a little bit, right? Mmm. 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 Mine is ultra sweet. How is it? Sweet body, and this is like a sweet, almost like a sweet and sour sauce, but it has that like lazy texture. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna mix, so. so you can add a sour water in it. Like that, right? So then just dip it, drown it. Oh, you go fast. That's good. Oh, sorry guys, I'm gonna eat a little more. <laughs> My favorite thing ever. And these gagopas are so big. Yeah, it's they a make them like, one. Yeah, they make them like extra big. Wow. You need a big mouth. <laughs> I have to have more gagopas, guys. It's too good. So sweet. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pro. Yeah, I'm a pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is too much. The best thing on planet Earth. Mm. Always with this. Mmm. Love the sweet. Whatever you like it, pani puri or gold kebab. This is a perfect, perfect. Perfect. Same thing. Yeah. Different names. <laughs> yeah. All right, la dupati. So we have to mix, right? Yeah. Mix all the chutneys. So we have. Okay. Like this. So just mix it all. Yeah. Now all the three chutneys are mixed up. Now I will. Okay, so break it all up, yeah. all right? Then bring in the sweet, right? Yeah. And this is the sour, and then that's obviously the special raita. The laddu will absorb all the chutneys. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean lentils. Absorb, yeah, it will absorb the chutneys. First bite. So sweet. Mm. Oh, I love 
try to try to mix in that. Mix this one. Okay. This will be a little bit salt. <laughs> yeah. I just love it. Will get, <laughs> it will get a different. Mm hmm. Mm. Right. Yeah. It kills the sweetness. Yes, it does. Kills it. Mm. But I love the ladoo. Incredible. So it definitely absorbs all the chutneys. Just keep mixing it in. Yeah. If you want more sweet, just pull it more. Exactly. If you want more sour, you put in this, right? And exactly. always with the incredible raita. And each place has different raita. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this piece has the black pepper. Mm. Black pepper? Mmm. I love it. Mmm. Black gold. Yeah. Lentil. Nice lentil fritter. Exactly. So we just added some of the, more of the sour, right? Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, chutney is the best. I literally can grab the chutney glass and just drink it. No, I'm joking. I won't do that. <laughs> mm. Wow. One of my favorite dishes in the whore, for sure. Nice, pretty light. I mean, in terms of fried, not so bad. Very dense and crumbled. I love it. Wow. It's not that much oily. Yeah. How are you, you feeling it? No. It's not oily. Like nothing. Nothing. It, it's more. It's, a lock and it's, it's like a dry one. It's like a dry one, yeah. yeah. And it absorbs all the chutney really well, so that's why you mix it all in, right? Yes, of course. Guys, eat. Still have so much more. Samosa and karai. Karai. <laughs> Nice. Sugaria, 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 sugaria. You like? I love it. I love it. Delicious. They do incredible. They go to go up. Very sweet. Nice and yummy. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Sugaria. You want to see at a cross in Pakistan? <laughs> in all seriousness, uh, we're stuck in traffic, but the only reason is because there is a traffic light in front of us. I mean, huge population in this area, right? Yeah, huge. Very lots huge. of people, lots of scooters, motorcycles, tuk-tuks, cars. And again, the only way to cross the road is just to like go in and just navigate through the traffic. Yeah. Th these guys can't do what I do. And also this road leads to a railway station. Oh, okay. So that's the reason many people go to the railway station. To Only five minutes drive later and we're here in an area with an overpass and we're gonna try both dishes in this area, but samosa and some karai. Mask on, this area is on fire. Look at this, so many restaurants, so many cooks. Is that samosa right there? That looks good. Assalamu alaikum. So this is it, but samosa, but sweets and bakery is the name of the shop, and the samosa is the but samosa, huge samosa, very crispy inside. You have potatoes, a little bit in the oil, so it's a huge samosa, very crispy, uh, very doughy inside as well with potatoes. Can't wait. Lahore, Lahore. Yeah, Lahore, Lahore. Lahore, Lahore. I'll try the other one. If you weren't, if you haven't been to Lahore, you weren't born. Yeah. There are the two, two chutneys. One is the sweet chutney and one is the Chinese. So you, uh, one, one samosa and two chutneys, you have to eat with it. And here we go. The samosa and two different chutneys, it's still like scorching. Look at that. If you mix it in to the chutneys, it'll cool down, right? Hopefully. Lahore, Yes, very tasty. Oh, I haven't had a samosa like this before. It is very spicy. I love the sweetness. Love it. My friend here is super <laughs> charismatic. Be excited. Wow! This part is very crispy, mm -hmm. and other part, but potato part is softer. I like the crispiness. The crispy part is amazing. I, I like the the differences, right? It's a different textures because here it's crispy. Inside, it's just softer. I wouldn't say super mushy, but yeah, a little mushy. Potato. You have some herbs, and then you have these two incredible chutneys. I love the sour and the sweet. This is one of the 
the best emotions ever because of the chutneys. Chutney takes it. Mm, you drink it. You break it up, right? So once you get to this point, just keep digging in and mix in the chutneys. Just keep mixing. Oh yeah. Mm. Best samosa ever, man. Wow. I had no idea samosa gonna taste so good. I'm so happy. It's so good. Enjoyed it. One more. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now it's time for some karai. Karai, karai. Where's the karai? Over here? This way. So we are going to a bat karai for a roaster. Organic roaster karai. Roasted rooster? Yeah. A rooster? Yeah. Rooster. <laughs> oh, and the roosters are right here. Yeah. Literally right here. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can select any one roaster you like. No. Which one you want to eat? That's a too bigger one. Brown is black is what you, you like. Are we really selecting it? No, no. Yeah, yeah you oh have to God. select. You have to select. Selecting this one for you. Whenever you go to a restaurant, you eat chicken, fish, beef, whatever you eat. That animal died, right? They killed it, so you can eat it. Same thing here. The only difference is here you actually see the animal before it gets slaughtered. Just letting you guys know, it's reality. Real life, you know? Sad, but it's real. That's it? That's it, come. Probably the freshest chicken I've ever had in my life, right here. <laughs> For sure. That's it, God bless his food. We will eat on the footpath. Right. <laughs> the taka taka is flying in our face. Wow, so they set up outdoor seating here right under the overpass. Here we have proper seating. Incredible, so the terrace is right under the overpass. This wasn't here before. They did it because of COVID. So while you wait for your food, it can take like easily 45 minutes because it's pressure cooked, right? And then they throw it into the garai, onto the frying pan, and you wait. You just gotta wait 45 minutes. And while you wait, you get a massage. Let's okay. get a massage. What's up? This guy's awesome. This guy's a man. <laughs> oh, right down the spine. Wow. Oh. oh, you're getting a massage too? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh. That arm is broken. Oh. It's unreal. How are you feeling? Amazing. This guy. Amazing. Guys, you have no idea. The best way to kill the time. Get a massage. You guys are right here in the terrace. So because the chair wasn't from this restaurant, they didn't move. Now I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are awesome. I pray you too much. Oh, my legs. Oh, I've been standing for 11 straight hours, man. My legs are killing me, man. Oh. I did it. I did it. How long is this for? Oh, my God. I haven't felt this good in years. Seriously. When you travel all day long, work all day long. You get this? My legs are aching. He's gonna do my whole head too. Massage. Massage. This guy took over. <laughs> Man, what an evening. These guys made my night. Forget the food. Give me a massage. <laughs> Woo oh. Oh. <laughs> so our food is ready to cook. You know, it was in the pressure cooker. Now they put it onto the pan. They're putting lots of butter, lots of Jesse butter. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so these pans don't have handles. You have this, the clamper. Oh my gosh. The butter. You can move. You can move. Oh, you can move yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Damn, this is heavy. Heavy. 
This is our organic rooster parai. Look at this monster. Incredible. I love it. And they bring you the pan. With butter, with butter. With butter. Yeah. All right, so we grab, right? And we're not moving it to our plates. We're going to go directly into the pan. Hopefully, it's not that's too hot. Why, that's why it's called karahi. If you want to best it, you have to eat it inside. Okay. So we gotta just find different pieces. Oh, that is. Oh, oh chili. Oh, it's still super hot. Oh, what is this? So buttery. Mmm. Incredible, so much like gravy. A little, a little hot. Won't lie, a little chilly, right? Oh. oh my god. This one's a little different. This one doesn't have any tomato. Unless yeah. I took it out, right? I don't see any red. The other ones I had in the other cities was way more tomato based. You really have to go in here and look for the meat, right? A lot of bones. Oh my god. And the whole at butter I no. mutton or the roasted organic roasted. It's the best specialty. That's it? You can get rather chicken karahi anywhere. But the organic roasted chicken karahi is a perfect combination. This is uh This is the best part. This is the best one. This is my one of my favorite dishes. Yeah, this is top two. Speciality. The hardest speciality. And the roots are so fresh, right? Exactly. They literally have it right there. You choose it, you cook it, you eat it. Mm. Oh man, a little spicy now. And I'm loving the amount of butter they put in here. <laughs> Bunch of organs here. This is uh, what the liver. I didn't know we got the organs, so they put everything in here, right? Nothing goes to waste. <laughs> that was the liver. Want to try it? Guys, this is stomach. The stomach with ginger and the gravy. Oh, I need to get more gravy. Yeah, drench it. So the biggest difference between this karai and every other karai I had was that it's a lot more buttery. Like, ultra butter. I'm popping, that's the most that filled me up. Well, that was amazing. But our night's not over yet. We still have some sweets right nearby. Right next to Butt Sweets and Bakery is another place where we're gonna have some like, I don't know, milky drink and something else. We have some halwa and a milk. Okay. Yeah. Here we have a carrot halwa and a rubbery milk. Two items available at right now. Let's try both. Okay. Don't know So we got the halwa and the milk. Let's try the milk first. The falula. Falula. Luda is very liquidy, right? With a lot of different things inside, like exactly. jellies. Exactly. Mmm. can go wrong with it. Perfect powder cleanser. Right after a meal, right? And here we have the halva. Halva. Get it. Mmm. Oh man, it's tasty and it's hot. Super hot. I absolutely love this halva. Look at this. It's crumbly. Mmm, hot. Little bite. And then. Combination. Yeah. Mmm. Hot, cold. Oh! Alright, guys, so we had an epic food tour. I mean, so many surprises tonight. We started off with Ladu. Pitiwala. Pitiwala. And Galgapa. I mean, Galgapa was phenomenal. But that other dish was so unique. Never tried before. You know, lentils, 
fried, like a lentil fritter with a black pepper on top, mixed with three different chutneys. So you have a sweet, the sour, and the raita. You mix it all up, you drown it in it, you eat it. Fantastic. After we came here, right across, butt samosa. That was epic. That was the best samosa I've ever had in my life. The big one. The big one. <laughs> also with chutneys, sweet and sour. Again, you mix it up. So good. And then we walked over there. We we're waiting for our uh, karai and we got a free massage. No, it's kidding, it wasn't free. <laughs> <laughs> so the massage was 200 total. We tipped them, so it was a thousand. Crazy experience, I mean, getting that. And those guys are, you know, walking around, just give massages to whoever wants. If you're there waiting for your table, you get a massage. And the karai was phenomenal. Super buttery, very different, you know, rooster, organic rooster, desi style. So that means local, right? Uh, so good. And finishing it off with another butt. So today it's all butt. Butt, butt, butt. Everything to know yeah. the butt. By the way, that's, that's, a, that's a family's name, right? It's a family name, it's a brand. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next one in Lahore. Jinnay Lahore ni takya. Jinnay Lahore ni takya. Oh, Jamey or nahi? Oh, Jamey. Yes. Sort of, sort of. Sort of. Again? Oh! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. Today I'm taking you on a breakfast food tour. We're starting off right now at the Anadkali Food Street, which is the second most popular food street in the city. If you guys don't know about Lahore, it's famous for their chana, which is chickpeas. So we're gonna have some chickpeas, we're gonna also have some bone marrow, and then we're gonna finish it off with some lassi, and I'm sure a few other snacks in between. Are you guys ready, excited? Mask on. Yo team! Yeah! Yo, Manaki team! <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? Let's, let's go for the non -genet. You know, we follow the SOPs as well because of the COVID, so we don't have the sitting place. But the Lahori's are foodies, make sure. They don't compromise in anything. So we can stand and eat the chickpea here. Let's please. Let's look at the size. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite big. It's huge. It's quite big. Right? Oh, I can't wait. This is a very tasty chickpea. They used to the black pepper some of the chicken and they have the very special kulchas, the bread oven bread. So if you want to see, I will show you the bread oven system as well here. So in the front we have the chana, incredible chickpeas, looks so good. Probably gonna be a little spicy, I'm sure it is. In the back we have the tandoor and they're making naan and they're making kulcha. What's the difference? Well, kulcha has sesame seeds and here they're making it a uh, really unique kulcha, which is the heart shaped kulcha. I can't wait to try it. I'm excited. I'm hungry. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Shukriya, shukriya. Let's eat. So everything is ready here. It's on display, but we can't sit. So let's try the chicken, the kofta, and the egg, and the special kulchas, and the right and salad as well. Let's come up join us, please. So everything is ready. We have the chicken chickpea, we have the kofta chickpea, and the egg chickpea, right? Yeah. And we have the special hot kulcha. So we are going to be riding a breakup. This is the break. So you're breaking the heart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's try it, please. Let's try it. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna break up some of the chicken right here. Yeah. Let's get a Seems big bite. Right. Mm. Nice. This one's mild. Mm. Not too spicy. That seems a little creamy, you know? Mm. The chicken is so tender. Mm -hmm. I love the kulcha. Sesame seeds? Mm. Yeah. It's slightly baked. Right. It's not a high pain. It's a slightly baked one. Yeah. You take it for two minutes. I'm more than ready for it. So what's next? This is a kofta. Yeah, the kofta. I'm going with the egg. Mm -hmm. So the difference is basically this one has chicken, this one has kofta, and the egg. That's yeah. it. Mm. It's not a spicy, no. but they used to the black pepper. And somehow they used to the white pepper as well. Okay. Oh yeah, nice and minced meat, right? Oh, right there. Let's try this thing. Mm. It's like a sea kebab. Yeah. The sea kebab is different. Yeah. It's part of that. But similar. And Everything. you know, why people use this yogurt? Call on the heat, right? No, no? because it's going to be more digest, not crazy. Okay. So it's the best solution for the digestion. <laughs> you eat well, and just taste it, everything is going to digest. Okay, and this I just drink a little bit? Yeah. Just one bite on the top. Mm -hmm. Product cleanser. Always. Oh, it's great. 
Oh, today is perfect. Look at this. Nice and cold. Yeah. It's a cold weather. Incredible chickpeas, man. Incredible. And so if you guys don't know, again, chickpeas is famous here in Lahore. Everywhere you'll find it, but each vendor makes it differently. And it's very, you know, kind of very cheap way. Mm -hmm. If you have to like a uh, hundred rupees, you can you can do a very cheap breakfast, very good breakfast in the hole. It's like chickpea and full chops. Nice simple meal, right? Incredible, love it. Mm, super tasty. Super the kulcha is incredible, man. It's fluffy. The outside is like a crust, you know? Yeah, yeah. Very pizza style. Yeah. If you use this kulcha for two days, it's going to be more tasty. Yeah? Yeah. So it's stale? Because, because the yeast is going to be small town. Okay. And then you make oven, that's more, more tasty. Fantastic. And the restaurant's called Gogona Kipie, and it's right next to the gate, right? The entrance. Awesome. I'm going to try the egg one now. Nice egg. Mm. Nice horrible egg. Oh, great mix with the tenor. I can't get enough of the kucha. Kucha is the best. I'm gonna eat like 10 of these, man. <laughs> Make sure we have another breakfast after I know, I know. <laughs> so keep your stomach alive. <laughs> Take it slow. Alright, the center was delicious. Kucha, incredible. Now we're walking down the street. And what do we see here? I mean, just a bunch of vendors, right? Lots of food stalls. Yeah. That's it. Actually, it was uh, the food street, the second one, right? I've been told already. Mm -hmm. But because a lot of like the hostel, hostel eyes or people over there, so the students. See, mostly there used to be this food street the dining. Okay. But it's famous for the lassi, for the rice, biryani, check pigs, marabond, other stuff. At the very end, we have the bazaar, right? Exactly. So it's the street, lots of vendors. Obviously, they're selling other things, including fruits, clothing, socks, masks. Yeah, more food, right? Yeah. It's not stuff food. Exactly. And it's a little muddy today, because last night there was a, th a storm at 3 in the morning that woke me up. <laughs> Incredible. We're just here, and this Babaji actually calls me that, that you have the guests with the David, actually. So I said, these are the guests and a bit longer. He said, is it not possible that the guests cross this way without eating anything? So let's invite them to eat the, the sweet halwa. So they did use the sweet halwa as well here. This man is too kind, too kind. <laughs> shukriya, shukriya. <laughs> shukriya. All right, I'm gonna try it. Try the halwa. Halwa. Mmm. 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 Sweet and hot. Oh, I like it hot. Oh. Nice and crumbly. If you want, you can have halwa puri. We're having it straight. Halwa. Oh. Very tasty. Incredible. Amazing. I love it like this. I'd rather have it hot. Yeah. Oh, and he has other things, right? So he has two different styles of halwa. He has the puris, and then these are like halwa cakes almost, yeah, right? Exactly. They're incredible. Exactly. I love that. That's almost like a like a sweet biscuit. You know, like a super sweet biscuit. Nice and fluffy in the middle, like you know, doughy. Outside crispy. Amazing. They're too kind, too kind. And right here they're making all the puris, right? Now it's not puris. Incredible. Shukriya, shukriya. Too much, too much. So good. Shukriya, my friend, shukriya. Okay, guys, so we made it to the end of the food street. Now we have to get back in the car and then go to a spot for that bone marrow. Ready for the bone marrow. So where are we going? So we are going to the uh, downtown. We're heading them, actually. And this is the first food street in Lahore where we're going to try the marrow bones and the lassi. That love one is looks like a white beer. It's not a beer, but it looks like a white beer. So we just a few minutes left to stop over here. A very fresh guava. Guava. And it's the season of the guava. It's very sweet. And mostly it's gonna be used in the morning. Morning for the best, but evening is not good. Right now we're in a food street and this was the first food street in Lahore, but uh, right now it's not working in the food street. And this is the first shop in once we enter the food street, this is a lassi shop. They have the very thick yogurt and they have the very thick lassi and the milk. It's famous for the milk, yogurt, and lassi as well. Let me show you. So here they have yogurt, they have milk, and they make lassi. But we're not having lassi here. We're going to another spot. Let's go. And as you walk down this food street, you'll notice on the left a lot of old British colonial buildings, pre-partisan, so pre-1947. Gorgeous. I love it. So these are still intact over here as well. As you keep going, it gets into newer and then mix of old and new, right? And lots of food here. Lots of people. Hello, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Everything good? Uh, yeah, so lots of food here to the left, lots of food to the right, and we're making our way down. 
gorgeous day. This was actually the first first food street, and this area belongs to the Hindus before partition. They were all Hindu Haveli. You can see the name of different Hindus name here. Yeah, so up here you see like some calligraphy, right? Exactly. So after the partition, when the Muslim came from Kashmir and from Amritsar, they started the business setup in Lahore, and it has been declared the food street like 20 years before. They have the bone marrow, they have the brain, and they have the tongue, and they have like face as well. This is all cow? Yes. So there's beef. Yes. Okay, this is beef. The bone marrow also has the beef. Because sometimes it's goat. So unfortunately, this guy ran out of bone marrow, but the guy across from him has bone marrow. So how does it work? Very easy. He gets the bones, he takes out all the bone marrow into a plate, then he gets some of that oil, puts it on top, then he puts a little bit of black pepper. Yes. Right? And then he gets more oil. Yeah. And that's it. Yes, sir. And you mix this with kulcha. Yeah, kulcha is coming. Awesome. So let's sit inside. That try. looks incredibly delicious and oily. Mm. It's very tasty by the way. I would drink it. No. <laughs> and here we go guys. Some bone marrow. So kulcha, get in here. Just drown it. Oh, it's still super hot. Get some of that bone marrow. No, how would it taste? Oh, incredible. So much oil. A little black pepper gives it a nice spice. Mmm. Bone marrow is the best. Nice and jelly, right? You can just go in, grab with this. The best thing to do is like drown the kurcha because it's nice and fluffy. So it absorbs a bunch of that oil. And try to grab as much bone marrow as you can. Oh, the plate's on fire. Mmm. Like this bite, right? Put him whole. I love the black pepper. Nice right. and tasty. And then over here, we have the same thing, but instead of bone marrow, we got some of that meat. And this is all cow, right? Beef. Mm. Oh, I love the beef. Look at this. Put some of that flesh. What a morning, man. Finger looking good. Mm. You like it? I love it. This is the best breakfast of the Lahore. Yeah? yeah. Specialty of Lahore. That's how you have to do it. You have to get like a little pocket, right? So you can get all that bone marrow. It's the only way. Incredible. This reminds me of like in, uh, in Mexico, one of these tacos. Oh, nice and juicy. Mm. Oh. This is the ultimate breakfast. Mm. It's too good. Nice and oily. <laughs> thank, shukriya, thank, shukriya. Thank, thank you, thank thank you, you so man. much. Thank you. Okay, this is a place where you get the, uh, like the raw stuff of the daybury. And this is one of the oldest place inside the Gwalmani. And you can see the all stuff. They're going to be wholesale market. They're going to sell it there. So that's like a, almost like a chat with a lot of yogurt. And this is fried dough. So big bags of fried dough. Very small outside. You can see the guys with the huge mountains of it. Inside they have bags. They mix up. They don't have an electric machine, but they have the washing machine over there. What? <laughs> it's a dry. What? <laughs> yeah. That's how they dry? Actually, they want to be dry the water off these yeah. like a process here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. <laughs> so this is the Pakistani actually thing here. <laughs> we are very creative mind people, make sure. Boiled potatoes, they chop them up and then they fry them. And that's how you make all these nice uh, crunchy doughs, right? Shukriya. Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, where's that lassi at? Yeah, we had a good lassi. We need it right now. Yeah. <laughs> and they caught my stomach. Having too many oily things. <laughs> Finally, we have reached the lassi stop here. And this guy is making a very traditional lassi for you. So how does it work? Basically, you get some malai, some milk, adds a bunch of sugar, and he keeps stirring it. He keeps stirring it over and over, his traditional style, and then he tastes it. As soon as he tastes it, he sees he likes it, and then he keeps adding more sugar, more milk. Whenever he gets to the perfect, you know, taste for him, then he serves it up. Cheers, guys. Yes. Cheers. 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 And here we go. Again, cheers. Yeah, man. Lahori Lassi. Mm. Oh, and he puts a nice pizza malai on top. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. It's like so frothy right now, bubbly. Mm. Nice and chunky. Incredible. Huge mug. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers, man. Like milkshake. Mm. 
Mm. So much yogurt here. Mmm. Crumbly, chunky. Also, very liquidy at the same time. This is the best one. The best one we have in the horror. Yogurt has the three layers. The first one is a malai, and the second one is a yogurt, and the last one is a yeast. This is the first, the second, and the third one is here. I have to explain what malai is. First layer, give a second layer, third layer, and you mix it with more milk. Very filling. Mm. The perfect to end this meal, you know, coats your stomach, and at the same time, a little bit of a digestive, right? What a milkshake. Shukriya. Oh, I am popping. <laughs> the Lahori Gujars use the metal because they believe if they, if they use the other stuff for the Mayaman, there is no good for the business. So they use for the metal thing here. This is another chick pick, but without, without oil, right? They just make it like a light steam and it's a dry. And it used to be eaten with a pickle and some cold naan, cold kulcha. Let me show you. Well, like he said before, every corner you'll find a few different chickpea vendors, exactly. China vendors, always different. Yeah. Right? This Very unique. is different. This is only like the white white pepper and black pepper. And that's it, my friends. We had an incredible breakfast food tour with Adele. My man, too much, too much. Yeah. yeah. We started from here and end from the white wine. That is lusty. Yeah. And I'm sure after you're going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so we had chickpeas with kulcha. Incredible. Then we had some bone marrow and some kulcha as well with some of the meat. Oh, so good, lots of flavor. And then that lassi was just like the ultimate lassi. Very chunky, crumbly, filling. Where's the bed? I need to pass out. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See you in the next travel food adventure in Lahore, Pakistan. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the old city, the walled city of Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. As you can see behind me, we have the Delhi Gate. This faces the city of Delhi right over there. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna explore the entire thing. We're gonna see a mosque that's over 375 years old. We're gonna see the royal baths and we're gonna eat lots of delicious food. There's so many food vendors. Are you guys excited? Follow me, walled city. Nice. Can't believe it, my fourth day here and I'm finally entering the city. That's how big this entire city is. Walled city, oldest part of the entire Lahore. Excited. Look at this, gorgeous. It's like, a, for me, it reminds me of like Morocco when you go to Medina's, the old cities. Very similar. Like the walls, you have lots of vendors, you know, small two or three story buildings. Incredible. Can't wait, man, this is great. So we are actually heading to the Royal Bath and that Royal Bath was built by the Shah Jahan. And Shah Jahan is the same Mughal Emperor who built the Taj Mahal. So this is actually one of the oldest baths in subcontinent. And it has been restored like five years before. And now it's a heritage site declared by UNESCO. So how it works, let's go to the inside. But before that, I want to show you the overview of the Spice Bazaar in Lahore. This Spice Bazaar was built by the Akbar the third Mughal Emperor. So he started the spice trade from Lahore and goes to Delhi and then Kolkata. And this is actually the second head office of the East India Company in Lahore. And right here we have some red chili and black pepper, also referred to as black gold during the spice trade. I love this. What else we got? We have some rice too, right? Yeah. We have more than 70 kinds of rice in Pakistan. 70? 70. 70 kinds of, more than 70 kinds. And there are a few of them only. And it smell is so amazing. <sighs> it's like a basmati. Amazing smell here. We're entering the royal baths now and it costs 400 rupees for a foreigner and 50 for a local, 20 for students. To get it free of cost. <laughs> this is the red sandstone, it came from Jaipur and Jaipur called the pink city. This is 350 years old stone and this is like the new stone here. And if I touch this stone, it's quite cold, but this is not a cold. That's a difference between the solid stuff. Can we touch it? Yes. Oh, it's freezing. Yeah, and you can touch this here. 
Uh, the difference. Throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. So red sandstone comes from Jaipur, Rajasthan. Actually, this is best for the insulation as well. If you go to the Jaipur, you can find out this sort of red sandstone here. Yeah. It's keep away from, from the cold, it keep away from the port as well. Yeah. I've been. All, all the ports are the same color. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same. Alright, so you go inside? Yeah, you went. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of like a Roman bath. Yeah. Same, same entryway, right? Actually, this was uh, not for the common people. It was uh, for the elite people on that time. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks like a Jim Hanna club. Wow. Five days in a week is works for the men and the once in a week for a female and they had a very good arrangement of manicure and pedicure on that time. Wow. It was luxury bath. Look at this. The colors. It's a fresco. All fresco. So you said it was restored in 2015? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. And how many rooms are in here? Uh, nine right now. But before that it was 21 rooms. But okay. they restored in nine rooms. The rest of the room has been destroyed or maybe demolished to the solution. So as you can see, beautiful frescoes all on the top. That was all restored in 2015. And over here in this room, you'll see uh, they basically the British like put plaster all over this because they were trying to convert it into a church. But the people in the area said, no way, there's a mosque in there, you can't do that. So the British stopped. But here in the waiting room, you'll see, you know, basically the destruction they did. They just literally ruined it. They covered all the frescoes and they're all gone. Gone in the history books. Beautiful place. Definitely visit the Hammam Royal Baths when you come in the old city. Hey, incredible. Look at that. Gorgeous. And right there, they have the seven stairs to, to heaven, right? Yes. So these are the cisterns actually, because the people, they want to be the feelings of the waterfall. So they build actually this waterfall here. It works as a shower. You can see the port. It looks like an infinity pool, you know, like the infinity bath coming down. This is like a small jacuzzi. Small jacuzzi. And the next room is the sauna, right? So steam room. So it was really nine rooms, but now it's three. Yes. Okay, so they restored part of it. So you can see marble here. And the bottom layer, that's where the slaves will go through and put coil. Exactly. And then they have the hot layer water. And once it's the smoke and the hot layer water, with a mix up, it's become a steam. And these are the steam flavor. Wow. Steam came from here. Incredible. I mean, very similar to what we have today. You know, exactly. we're, we're basically doing what they used to do, exactly. right? We're copying them. Exactly. And when you pass the Royal Baths, you enter the main street, and this is a bazaar. Yeah. Fabric shops everywhere. You have shoes. You have some more spices to the left, to the right. What else we got here? Actually, uh, this is heading to the Wazir Khan Mosque. Okay. But before the mosque, we will co cover uh, some streets as well. Nice. It's recently restored. This is the Gali Surjan Singh and it has been recently restored. But now it's a famous street, nowadays in Lahore. And there's a lot of flags because today is... 23rd March, you are also wearing this flag. I know, I'm well. wearing the flag. The white and black, green. Oh my gosh. So bikes can still pass through here, but minimal. Okay, so this is it. Beautiful buildings, love it. Yeah, exactly, it's the same color. Love the colors. Oh, careful kids. <laughs> wow. So it keeps going, right? Very nice. So, hey, do people live here? In the top side here, there are the, all the residential family here. These are the famous sitting style of Lahore, and this is called the Thara. And Thara actually used you for the security purpose. Like, if a if a, if an unknown person crossing this way, and the old people sitting here, and they observe to each other why are crossing twice time, twice time. But these ones are very rare, and this is one of them. Assalamu alaikum. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. His father, he was also the wrestler. What are you saying, you are Lord? Lahore, Lahore. Lahore, Lahore. He is very famous personality in the walled city of Lahore. So we're back on the main street and lots of fabric shops. I'm actually shopping for my kids, trying to see if I can find some beautiful dresses for a three and a five year old. So do they have anything for girls, little girls? No, no, for big ones. Only big ones? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you, Mulakantan. He is also a famous wrestler. I, my father saw uh, some of the big wrestling in India. Everybody's too nice. All the wrestlers, man. Yeah, They're all, all the, big all guys. The wrestlers. All big guys. Yes. Oh man, it's packed now, huh? 1.30. It's crowded. Bikes, people, shopping, eating. The life, huh? Exactly. This is actually the keema with the fry naan. And they used to only onion, the, uh, the cow meat, like the keema and the black pepper and some bit of the yogurt, that chutney. Basically it's a beef patty, right? And they put an egg on top. And they mix it. 
They match together. So we have non wiki, we have the beef patty with egg, and also there's a scramble, nice and mashed together. And over here we have a chutney, it's like a mint chutney, right? Yeah. Okay, so grab a piece of the naan. Oh, also ghee, still very hot. We're eating it right here on the street. Oh my god, the plate's on fire too. So go in here, grab this. Oh, everything's so hot. So hot. You did. Super spicy, beef patty. Oh, I love it. Get a little more. She is beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. You have to come here. I can still see the gate, so it's not that far from the gate. Yeah, exactly. All like a 500 feet away. 500 feet? Yeah. Oh man, super spicy, huh? Spicy and hot. I love that we're eating it right here on the street. Very tasty. You can't find these little food outside the street of the whole. Nice scrambled egg. Very tasty. Dip into there. Get that chutney. Oh, nice and spicy. Phenomenal. Beef patty with chilies, egg, naan, with ghee. Wow. The food here is too good. The chilies are hitting me though. It's hard to stand here. Shukriya. Ah, this guy's the man. He's awesome. But stay out of here because it's too, too much peppers. The peppers, the peppers, they're hitting me in the face. Typical Pathan dress. You like it? No, really. And today, Nobody even recognize you, you're a Pathan or a Punjabi or a Briton or something like that. I really like it. Shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. <laughs> this bazaar does not end. I've only seen one food vendor, which is that one. The rest of it is just shops and shops and shops of fabrics and also shoes. Lots of shoes here. Incredible stuff. I'm looking for something for my kids. No real souvenirs. This is more like local stuff, right? <laughs> That's chili. <coughs> Still really hot. This is the entrance of the Wazir Khan Mosque. Uh, this was the part of the gate, but not the wall city gate. This gate was inside the wall city, and this is one of them. Right here we have traditional slippers, right? This is slippers for kids, for girls. This is beautiful, I love this. This looks very small though, a little too small. So, found it. This is what I'm getting for my daughters and for my niece. Beautiful, love it. Incredible. Traditional, right? Punjabi. Punjabi. Very nice. So it's two fifty each. Uh, so for seven fifty, that is uh, five dollars. Five dollars for the three pairs. What a bargain. For sure. Yeah. So this is your local coffee vendor. So basically, this is a freezer on the bottom, and it's still frozen. He pulls it out of this cylinder. He puts it in water, so it melts a little bit. He pulls it out, and then he dips it into soy milk. Exactly. And that's it. Yeah. Right. I had it a bunch of times in Peshawar. I had it like twice. Amazing. I'm good right now. I don't want any more ice cream. I'm good. I'm good. Shukriya. Shukriya. So right in front of the mosque, we have this vendor selling orange juice, pure orange juice. I cannot wait. I need some good, refreshing juice. It's the best thing about this country. Anywhere you go, you can either get sugarcane juice or different juices, right? It depends what's in season. Right now, we got oranges. Other times of the year, you have mango. It just really depends, right? I need to wake up. Shukriya, <laughs> shukriya. Cheers, bro. Cheers, guy. God is like... I think it's Nice and cold. Oh, I love the pulp. Love it. It's very organic. You know, I don't drink juices unless they're pure. Yeah. I can't drink anything that's like, you know, that is very tasty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's organic fruit, yeah. Organic. Mmm. How's the digestion? That's good for you, right? Very good, good digestion. And right there we have the moss, right? Huge. We go inside right now. Incredible. I love it. The colors, it reminds me of the one that's seen in Uzbekistan. Very similar. Actually, the Mughal Emperor Jahangir, mm -hmm. his wife from the Central Asia. Exactly. Jahangir, right? So usually the mosaic art, like the Central Asia artist here on that time. So once you go inside, you can get the influence of the Baku, Uzbekistan, and other places as well. I love the wall city. Everybody's so friendly. And everybody thinks I'm, I'm Batu. <laughs> Batu! <laughs> Batu, Batu. Into the mosque? Yeah, it's a mosque here. It's 300 and approximately 70 years old mosque. And this mosque was built by Shah Jahan. So the calligraphy is Persian. Uh, 
Okay, it's outside of the Persian language. Okay. The first in the side, this is the Shah Jahan name that the guy actually who built this mosque. Mm -hmm. His name is also mentioned over there. It's a Persian oh. The official language was Lahore in the Mughal time was a Persian. It was not Urdu. No, it wasn't Urdu. Okay. It was not Urdu actually. I, I love the colors. Blue, yellow, green, orange, all flowers, right? Yeah. Very similar in all the mosques that were built in that time, right? Uh, in the area. Uh, actually, only the Shah Jahan gave this concept. Oh, okay. Before that, his father, that name was Jahangir, his wife was Nur Jahan, who started this concept of the flora pattern with different colors because she was a Persian lady. So she, she adopted the concept from the Persian side and used to be in Lahore and Delhi as well. Before that, the Akbar didn't use it. And the last Mughal emperor powerful was the Aurangzeb, who built the Badshahi Mosque. He didn't use any of this sort of work. Okay. He just used a white a red sandstone and white marble. But this is entirely mosaic. It's not painted. All oh, mosaic. They, it's a small tile pieces, mm -hmm. and then they fix it. They first the design, all structure, and then they fix it, the all small tile pieces here. I mean, I'll tell you, it's gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> compared to the other mosques, I mean, obviously the Royal Mosque, is impressive but this the colors exactly it's just so unique exactly and it's all original yes all original no any changes inside the mosque is the arabic outside the mosque it's a persian it's just like a praise of the king and the praise of the god but inside once we go it's a uh, different verses of quran so we just entered the courtyard as you can see it's really big you have four minarets, but you have five domes and five arches. What does that mean? Five domes represent the five pillars of Islam and five arches represent the five times prayer a day. So this is the second mosque in Lahore that they have the five arches and five domes. Look at see here. So as I told you, this is not painted, right? This is uh, fresco. This is one piece of stone. This is second piece of stone. This is the third piece. This is the fourth piece and the fifth throughout. They had the small tile pieces and then they write the verses of Quran and the Prophet sayings here. This mosque was built in 1634 and it took seven years to complete this mosque. Badshahi Mosque is so big, it took only three years to complete. Can you imagine the artist here all day for seven years putting each piece in? They were, you know, cutting it out, putting it in, cutting it, putting it in. Basically just measuring the whole thing. Look how massive it is. And it's every single piece of the mosque, the minarets. All the minarets are super colorful. All mosaics. Love this. Can't even believe they did all this calligraphy with mosaics. Man, what an incredible mosque, man. Incredible. As soon as you pass through one of the arches, you'll see these are all frescoes, all colorful frescoes over 375 years old. Look at this. The vases. I mean, this is all gorgeous. So it's mosaics and frescoes, the whole thing. This is the best mosque in the country. I mean, color-wise, like the detail that goes into this, seven years to build. It has been restored like 40 years before only. It never restored before that. Look at the top side. Can you see the curves of this style? Mm -hmm. This is works as a acoustics. If I speak from here, or maybe my voice is going to somewhere else here. And let me show you one more thing, that is the calligraphy. Look at the top side. This is the small verses of Quran. You, you, you can read from here, or maybe you can change your direction like this way. And you can read from here, it's the same. This is a mirror image. Incredible mosque, have to visit this place. Obviously, if you come to the old city, you're gonna visit no matter what. Okay guys, let's keep exploring more of the old town. This market never ends. It just keeps going yeah. and going. It's just started. It just believe started. Me, believe me. We haven't even entered. Yeah. So you can go inside and inside it won't finish. It won't finish. Because this is the biggest biggest wholesale market of whole Punjab. Of whole Punjab. Whole Punjab. So everybody comes here from all the cities to buy garments. Biggest wholesale market of Punjab. Garments and shoes, jewelry. You can find anything here. The wholesale. Wow, and it is packed right now. It's 3.30. How are you? Very good, you? Where are you from? America, America. Oh, nice to meet you. Let me see, let me see. This is our shop. Assalamu alaikum. We are it's a woven market inside the wall city of Lahore and this is one of the oldest woven market inside the wall city. That's like more 150 years old businesses here. Before that, before partition, the Hindus were the main prominent businessman in this city, but after the partition, Muslims take over all this business here. Look at this stuff. It's making the hand knotted woven bed. 
and this is good for your physique by the way so we have easy like 50 to 100 vendors all around here selling the same thing right and then they have the different stuff here different stuff yeah they have some ha some have the metal some of the wood stuff some have the wooden warming chair some have without back chair okay. so they have different stuff here yeah i love this one you lay down you feel great yeah you're back yeah wow so many colors so you have red yellow blue and he just it takes them how long does it take them to, to do this i took like one day for one bed is okay okay but there are unfortunately there's a few people left in pakistan they are doing these things here especially in lahore before that it was very common to different villages and the cities but the, now it's only left in lahore and this gentleman right here he has hand woven uh baskets for bread right that's yeah. what it is like baskets for bread very nice so this is a small one right here really cute but personally i like this one and he said what like five ten dollars for this yeah, this. three dollars three dollars yeah. for this hey, but I'm still just it's super light I mean, I think I should take it for that price. Okay, my friends, I got a woven plate where you put the bread and it stays warm. And then I got, these are like, I'd say like placemats, right? Yeah. So you put the, the plate on top, okay? So I got six, because obviously we have a table for six. And it costs 1800 total, which is roughly, I'd say like 11 or 12 US dollars. Great deal. Definitely support the locals everywhere you go. My man, thank you so much. I'll pay you later. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> 1800, okay. On, next trip. <laughs> on the next trip, on the next trip. I'll see you on the next trip, my man. Shukriya, Shukriya. Time. It's for you. Just slid down. No. No? Yes. I want to have one of these. Delicious beef kebab, look at that. It smells so good. The aroma, spices. No. So guys, everything good? Ah. <laughs> We're both starving. Let's yeah. start. Yes, stop, please. Right there? Yeah. Oh, nice mix. Oh, hot, hot. <gasps> right in the chutney, right? Yeah. Good. Mm. Mm. It's sweet and spicy. The best. It's an apricot. It's an apricot. Apricot. No way. Wow. Whoa. The spices here are phenomenal. Mmm. I love the way it's charred. Mmm. Nice and like mini burnt on the sides. Oh, so soft. Incredible mincemeat. I'm so happy. I'm also happy to visit here too. So here in the Wazi, you can eat really good street food. Like really good. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's so good. So juicy. Nice vegetables. You have some onions in here. Hello. You go into this delicious chutney. Apricot chutney. Amazing. Change the game. My friends, incredible. Shukriya, shukriya. Delicious. Apricot chutney. So sweet. It's harder and harder to walk through here, man. It's crazy right now. Yeah, we got to a point where there's actually cars going through. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Cars, motorcycles, tuk-tuks, vans. Intense. Woo! David, try, check it out, this tuk-tuk. We have a very fancy rickshaw designed by the wall for this one. Incredible. Look at this tuk-tuk. It's like a limousine open-air convertible. Awesome. Check it out, check it out. Uh, right now we are outside the Presbyterian Church inside the wall city of Lahore. There were three churches, but this is the one of them that's still left here. And it was built by the British when the Lord Curzon was inside the wall city of Lahore. He ordered to build this church here. But nobody knows about the exact uh, location of the whole church. There's only one place, or maybe two or three places here. And that's it guys, we are exiting the walled city of Lahore. What an incredible experience. This is the must, must visit when you come to this incredible city. We saw the gate, the baths, what else? Tons of markets, fabrics. Uh, we tried kebabs, what else did we try? We kebab the try, we kebab the barbells, we kebab the beef. All right, we buy the stuff here. We visit the Bazikhan Mosque, we drink the juice, and a lot of stuff here, we done it here. So guys, next time you visit Lahore, Pakistan, you must visit this part of the city. If you love the video, thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Lahore, Pakistan. Let's go.
evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the beautiful walled city of Lahore, Pakistan in partnership with my friends at Manaki. If you guys know me, you know I love getting haircuts across the world and I've done it already in Pakistan in Karachi. I just did a, a shave and I did a massage. But I've never done it on the street, like literally on the street. I'm gonna do it right now, getting a clean shave, clean shave here too, so the entire thing shaved, and then a massage. This is the barber, follow me. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Let's do this. Rock and roll. Oh man, that's a big blade. <laughs> Got the whole team here. Manaki, let's rock and roll. Oh, just sitting down right now feels so good. La ho la ho re, la ho la ho re. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know what he put into that water, but it tingles a little bit. My beard's long, huh? 14 days, no shave. It's long. Oh, I love the shaving cream. The best part about being bald, it's an easy fix. <laughs> Just shave. Oh wow. I'm gonna look like a different person, you're gonna see. I'm gonna look like, like a whole different person. I'm a chameleon, man. If I just shave, it's like, who's Ali, that? It's Baby David. David. <laughs> I dropped 10 years. 10 years when I shave. Oh, this is great. There's no better feeling than putting that razor towards my scalp. Don't get much, much move. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut up. He does a way better job than I do. I'm not that good at it. I've been only doing it for six months. <laughs> yeah, I stopped. I didn't care about my hair anymore. I started losing a lot of hair in the back and I was like, you know what? I'm done. Unfortunately, there's a price to pay for being ridiculously good looking. <laughs> good experience for you. Oh, incredible, dude. This is insane. I love it, especially out here in the open, nice breeze. Then I get on a flight, go home. So clean. You're gonna see, it's gonna be like, who is this guy now? Wow, it feels great right there. It's the one that tickles the most, that area. Right around the forehead. So I think we can see the head. And now, it's the entire shave. My friend, all of this, gone. I love doing this, I love growing the beard for a long time. I actually enjoy the beard, but sometimes it starts to like get too itchy, you know? My wife sometimes hates it, she's like, oh, it just, it tickles too much, you know? And the kids, it's like, it gives them rashes. Ooh, nice and oily. So smooth. Soft. Look at that beard, though. So you guys said I look more Afghani, right? I'm guessing he's gonna have to go with a scissor a little bit, right? To get in. You need it to be like scissor or clean shave? I want clean shave, but I think he needs a scissor. He's gonna, he's gonna hurt, right? If he goes like straight. Next up, we're trimming the beard. Have to trim it first before we can shave. Mm. Instantly, baby David. I dropped 10 years, man. I'm 35, this looks 25 now. A nice face massage. He's buttering me up. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. That's, that's what it feels like right here. Traditional way, what is this? This is no. Toothpaste. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a shaving shaving cream. A shaving cream? No, this is. Yeah. Wow. Wake up, wake up. It's hard. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> Super sleeping effect. Brand new clean blade. All right. Here we go. I'm literally asleep. Looking so sexy, by the way. The thank you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Second round. Everything's happening at the same time. I'm falling asleep. This motorcycle's behind me. <laughs> I did good. You look sexy, by the way. <laughs> thank you. This time's a lot faster, right? It's going a lot faster because it's already shaved. I can't wait for the massage. I cannot wait. Everybody keeps thinking that I'm from Afghanistan. So clean. Oh, I can't wait for the massage. I mean, he just keeps going. He always finds a little hair, right? Right there. By the way, perfect timing with the light. Literally a sunset, right? Sunset soon. Yeah. And here we go, massage time. Feels 
too good. Oh. I think he just cut my neck. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, my hands. Oh, it feels great. Oh, right there? Come to the Wall City. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much, man. I would literally come here every day just for the massage. Forget the haircut. That's it? For the rock. Oh, that's it. You know what's that? The sky has no fingers. No way. No way. I want to show you after that. Yeah, no fingers. This is amazing. Okay. Well, guys, that was the ultimate Pakistani haircut massage experience in the Wall City of Lahore, Pakistan, in partnership with Manaki. My man, you're too much. Thank you. Thank you. Another video. Thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next haircut video somewhere on this planet. <laughs>